then it took us a while to get rid of him. We took the corpse, or at least, yeah, we took the corpse of that demonic rat, and then we went to the city. We went to the city guards. They said, screw you, and then we got out, out of Dodge. And then we <laughs> went around the taverns, and then one of the taverns also said, screw you, because they said 20 gold pieces per night or something. So we went to another tavern, and then in that tavern, we also chatted with some other people. Um, <clears throat> we did some shopping, and then we tried to um, go look for information, but didn't succeed. And then we slept in a tavern. That's pretty much it. Uh, we, yes. We met up with uh, Pidemon, the person who asked us to go to the... Oh, yeah, the person that yeah. hired you guys to get the Alchemist Fire. And then um, yeah. only and Quinn and Marik only, only met for the first time. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> hey, give you good, huh? <laughs> Remember what that. <laughs> but don't worry. Take inspiration, uh, Queen, and we can jump straight into the game. Uh, I think Merrick is going to be a little late. I'm going to message him just in case. But really? We can start straight away. <sighs> yeah. Get 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 all your guys downtime out of the way. So. Makes it a lot easier later. You can just do barracks at the end. Okay. So, it is a new day. You guys have all taken a long rest. News comes around to the Moonstone. <clears throat> uh, in terms of rumors and just the guards uh, talking to each other as well as the other patrons. Uh, that currently there has been kind of a lockdown. Uh, that has opened up from the ports towards the Black Lake District. As that's where that the uh, explosions uh, near the bridges were affected too. Um, so currently there is like passageway from uh, the ports all the way towards uh, uh, parts of the Black Lake District. Um, however, movement there is still slightly restricted. If unless you have a good reason to go across, uh, you need... might get fined or do just loitering in the area. Go to the guardhouse and get a letter of permission. No, the guards will not give you a letter of mission. Uh, it's usually business matters or if you're like doing any mercenary work or if you're doing a job uh, and if it's like work related, then most likely you uh, might be accompanied by someone or have an offer or letter from them. So then it's much easier for you to move around, even across towards the Black Lake District. But for now, the rest of the city, uh, the Protectors and Cave, where the main buildings are, where Lord November, uh, November's <clears throat> main quarters are, uh, and his main officers are, uh, they are currently still shut down for the time. Uh, they're still, yeah, locked that down. Uh, ever since the attack, uh, Lord Neverember has kind of like put up security, heightened security around his, uh, uh, around the House of Knowledge, uh, around the Protectors Enclave especially, and uh, across the wall as well. Uh, seems to be like rumors of these attacks uh, just coming from here and there. And it sounds like Neverwinter is in a very weak position right now. But you guys all have five days uh, of downtime to kind of rest uh, while the city and the port itself tries to rebuild from all the damage that the rats did, uh, as well as basically handle whatever else is happening. But who would like to start the downtime first? Heather. Not me. I forgot. <laughs> I, I need to add my ESI and I don't know. <laughs> Like, where is the edit button? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but yeah, me. not me. I also next. Gwen, uh, you told me you want to go to the arena? Um, sure. Um, arena? You want to go? The pit fighting. Yeah, pit fighting. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, you're going to spend your full five days worth of uh, downtime for pit fighting, is that correct? Sure. Okay, just you and, and Neko? Yep. Okay, so both of you uh, can make a bet if you would like uh, on yourselves. But technically, if you just do this for your five days, <clears throat> you can just minus off the five days. Uh, you will only be spending on uh, lifestyle. Like basically, every day that you stay at the Moonstone Inn, that would be, I think, a gold piece each. Uh, on top of food and stuff like that, Food, I'll say 
comfortable, yeah, I'll say two gold pieces per day. So expect to spend at least 10 gold pieces just for living expenses this entire week, all of you. Uh, you can minus off 10 gold pieces for both of you. Head towards the Nash pit. Uh, after introductions from Neko, obviously, and you do see the other two dwarves as well there. But at the pit, you guys are invited to join the first few fights. And if you do win them, you will be involved in a fight with the champion. Currently, uh, according to Neko and the pit itself, is this halfling named Pascal. Uh, apparently been undefeated for the past month or so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but other than that, who would like to go first? <clears throat> uh, Wish, you give I'll a try? try. I'll try. Oh, okay. So you have to make three checks. Uh, you can see... Uh, yes, well... Uh, technically... Anybody else, uh, even though you're not having downtime, you can technically join in on the bets if you like. Um, there is an entry fee uh, if you're just an audience. So if you're, fight if you're fighting, it's fine. You guys don't have to worry. But the rest of you, if you want to join in, just pay one gold piece and kind of like make bets on these guys if you want. Ooh. So for the three fights, you just need to make three checks for me, an athletic checks, an acrobatic check, and a special constitution check. Uh, or uh, you can place uh, replace any one of these uh, checks with a attack roll using one of your weapons, not spells. You it is assumed that in this fight that uh, you you have the ability to use spells and and weapons and all all your abilities in your fighting arena as well. There's really there's really no rules except uh, no killing. Wow! Straight away you roll a constitution yep. save. <laughs> Ooh, wow. uh, it, well, it's the constitution it check is. is also plus two. Plus two? Yeah, it's fine. So, I'm going to make a roll for all these three things. One, two, three. Change the music a little bit. Okay. So, Oh no, it's gone. Sorry, give me a second. My internet's kind of slow right now. Three rolls. One, two, three. You rolled a 13, a 5, and a 22. Uh, no guidance uh, yeah, allowed no guidance. in these roles. Yeah, because it is over a period of time, over five days. Okay. And you. Hmm. All right. So, on your first bout inside the ring. Uh, you actually make pretty good, uh, <clears throat> pretty good, like, um, how do you say, uh, uh, um, um, entry into the uh, the fighting pits. Your introduction itself was quite extraordinary. Uh, this cleric uh, of Saloon uh, suddenly here uh, fighting for no other reason besides glory and coin. But <clears throat> there you are. And within the first few rounds, you have fought all uh, the combatants easily taking them out. The second day, however, uh, you get knocked out by one of the higher, like the top ranking, uh, I'll say like the top two people like in, in, in line to take the champion's uh, title. And it's a tough fight, but unfortunately for you, that one was easily uh, won over by that person. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably, it's, I think it is now would be, yeah, for now, uh, yeah, for now it's all right. Uh, the third one, the day you're fine. So, all together, on the last day, uh, you're called back for another fight. And this time, it's all the way uh, to a fight at the championship. Your first fight, you win. Your second one, however, you lose against this like exotic, uh, almost, like a, uh, a, almost like an Asian-Japanese geisha fighter, like holding a fan. Uh, can't remember her name, except it's, uh, it has a lady in it. 
but she easily fights you from a distance and it's not something that you get used to. And after the bout, you unfortunately had to relinquish uh, and you get two successes. So if you didn't bet on anything, if you guys didn't bet anything, Queen, you will get 100 gold pieces at the end of the day, at uh, the end of the week. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right, easy enough. Thanks. No problem. Uh, just have to minus off 10 gold, I guess, you know, for your life. Yeah, yeah already. Everything else, check yeah. out. Now, I'd like you to roll me a D100, please. Oh. Me? Yes. Well, oh, lucky wow. for you. You take your winnings, and everyone congratulates you. Nothing else really happens for the day. Uh, the work week is over for you. But next, go. Roll yep. me your three checks, please. Uh, three what is it again? Uh, athletics, acrobatics, or a con check, or you can choose to use a weapon attack or a unarm strike if you want. Up to you. Okay. No astral arm, correct? <laughs> mm, yeah, you can use astral arms, but there's a big difference. Your attack roll is still the same. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I will roll acrobatic. Okay. Hmm. No, no. Right. First, first week's fight, first day's fight, unfortunately for you, Neko. It's a pretty much a repeat of what happened last time. Uh, you go in like all bluster and like, yeah, I'm going to kick this guy's ass. You turn around and you see the same fighter you lost to last session. And he's like, hey, <laughs> this pushes you down to the ground. Uh, this huge half orc fighter. Uh, same same one, knock, uh, one punch, like knockout. And you just go right out. I'm uh, fighting a bubble. <laughs> okay. What do you uh, say? All right. Acrobatics done. Athletics or contract uh, or weapon roll up to you. All right. Okay. Weapon roll. Hmm. Oh, all right. Ooh, so what? The second time you come back with a vengeance. This time, however, uh, the man that you the the half of you're looking for isn't there. You go through all the new contenders that come through the match. Uh, you actually fight Queen at one point in time, uh, yeah. and it just. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and he unfortunately even loses to you during the second day. Uh, but you take it a stride and you get one one day's worth of wins. Uh, third one, please. Okay, another one. Come on, baby. Come on, critical. Oh. Uh, no, 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 not not weapon attack. Uh, uh, either oh, athletics, either athletics oh, or okay, completion. Okay. Your choice. Uh, no, I'm not good at that. Acrobation, I, I would choose acrobation. Sorry? No, you already used acrobatics. Or constitution. Oh, athletics. You need acrobatics. So you can only choose one time each. Yeah, so it's either athletics or con check, your choice. So with an athletics of 16. Hey, guess what? On the last day, you finally face back the half orc, and all the way, you fight him to the bitter end of the bout. Eventually, it nearly comes to a draw. And the half-orc standing on the other side of the ring looks at you. Oh, he just leans over and keels like unconscious on the ground. You've finally beaten the one man yeah. that's been in your way to the championships. <laughs> you win all the three days of your fights. Altogether, you win 200 gold pieces. Yay! Just have minus of 10 gold for living expenses. But your Very work week well. is done. Roll me a D100. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, roll me a D100. Uh, roll D100. Hmm. Uh, all right. Same as you. You take your winnings along with Queen, and you guys like enjoy a little bit of a celebration with Anthony and the other dwarves uh, at uh, the bar within the Nash's Pit. But other than that, you guys have your winnings. Nothing really happens. Okay. The rest of you guys. Who's next? Ta -da! <laughs> it's like I'm like a popular choice. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I mean, yeah. I want to hear what uh, lady choice. <laughs> yes. So what I was going to do is I'm gonna try and search a bit more about uh, where I can find this red matches. Now that I know there are traces of them dead ones, um, at the warehouse. Mm hmm. <clears throat> 
uh, based on what you said. Oh, wait, all right. Uh, so Melvin or what's his name? Don't remember him anymore. What's his name? Birgar. Who are we talking about? The one that I flirted with. Oh, uh, the, one of the the, the two people yeah. that ran away with the Vera. Right? Uh, he turned into a bald guy. So now that I know that a lot of those red people are bald guys, do oh, does yeah. he look like one? Does he uh, his clothes? Is that what? Make me an insight check. I'll wear? give it that to you. Yeah, yeah. Make me an insight check. Insight. Can... Mm -hmm. Where's my? Oh no. What is? Th okay. Sorry. Inside. Hold on, yeah. I forgot to save back after I changed my character sheet. Using Roll20 or Dendy Dion? Dendy Dion. So it's oh, right okay. now loading back. And another character, <laughs> I know. No, no, no. Because I said I didn't level up, so I went to setting. I was like, oh. oh. I yeah, you guys, I hope, I, hope, yeah, I hope you guys all leveled up. Yeah, I hope you guys all leveled up. Yeah, hopefully. If you need help, let me know. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I... more growth is so bad, right? This is still not more... okay. Hello. Mokro, what's your max HP right now? Uh, mine? Uh, yeah. Can't tell you. I'm not looking at my sheet, but it, <laughs> oh, yeah. I, added a, I added a point to my con when I leveled, so it went up. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let me know I later. Yeah, like, I need to change I want to say it's like 36 or somewhere around there, but I could be wrong. Around 30, right? Yeah, I got to change it, so you let me know later. Okay. So back to you again, sorry, uh, Lina. Um, what did you roll? Still doesn't want to to open for me, so I just roll a d20. Just, just roll a d20, yeah. It's a net one, your... it's okay. It doesn't matter what my multiplier, uh, my thing is. <laughs> it's, it's, hard, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to tell, uh, Heather. Uh, I mean, all bald guys, are they all, the all fire, All the uh, yeah, but one thing's for sure is that Mirgal was bald, but Jotham wasn't bald. Yeah, that's why it was one. It was Mirgal. And the and the and the magic they both used didn't look very wizardry. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, well, if we're about, uh, about if I meet him again, I'm gonna like like bash him in the head or something. Is so what is what uh, Heather is thinking. Like, her <laughs> Okay, but yes, what would you like to do for your downtime? Um, yeah, so since I got the information that they are known for selling magic stuff for like ridiculously, dangerously cheap or bait, mm -hmm. I kind of want to uh, see if there's... You, you would know they've been giving away some of these things for free, in fact. Um, uh, Morgoth's holding one of them, and so is Snow. <laughs> Wait, I'm holding it's one magical of Magical items. I, I, who's holding the, the 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 wait? You guys got a sword and a double bladed scimitar, right? Double bladed scimitar. From wait, the what was the other weapon? No, I'm not from the. I'm the only one I think that has a magic weapon. Uh, what did you get, Rydia? Uh, I from sword. I think I remember. Yeah, the last one, long sword. Ar from Arlen. Yeah. Yeah, from Arlen. Where's the other weapon? The double bladed scimitar. Oh, you guys got another weapon from like. Yeah, I think the double bladed scimitar. I've never heard of. Okay, I can't. Re I can't remember. Maybe it could be somebody card. else took to. It no 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 no. It, he gave two things. It could be somebody else took it and left the group. I can't remember for, for the likes of you right now. So regardless, um, he, he, uh, might, you do know that. Might you say uh, scimitar? But he yeah. left. From yeah, but... where did we obtain? Uh, um, from um, Arlen. Yeah, Arlen yeah, has confiscated some um, weapons from yeah, the, the Nashes. Leaders. Yeah, the leaders of the Nashes. Okay, I, will, I wasn't there. Th that means that was the time when... This is the pit fighting next episode. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Okay. So, yeah. Um, oh, no. Then I guess I will go... Do I know? Know what? Um, I okay. I know that they got those uh, magic weapons, and they were given for free. Mm hmm. 
right? Okay, so mm -hmm. I yeah, think... yeah. Um, Heather was their in character, just not in player. Okay, in not yeah. player. But you also do know extra that uh, the man that you just worked with, uh, what is his name? Edmond. 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 Yeah. Edmond Kroskos, yeah. Uh, he has been working with the, the, the Thayans, the Red Wizards, for some time uh, by supplying them components mm -hmm. and things that they do need, uh, ferrying them across the waters with his ships and his merchant uh, vessels. Uh, he's been spending a lot and he has no choice because apparently their leader, uh, this lich of theirs uh, has an item of his All right. that he wants back. Yeah, and he's kind of tasked to you guys with helping him do that. Does the lich have anything to do with the red wizard? Oh yes, she's the leader. Uh, her oh. name is Valindra. Okay, Valindra. I I will try to either get information on their hideout, like where they can be found in, um, in Neverwinter. Where they can where, be found. Uh, or where they have influence traces. Hmm. Mm, that's a good one. So you could either do carousing to kind of like get to know the people better, or you could okay. do more research to kind of figure out. Uh, where have these wizards kind of taken up roots in Neverwinter? Like, yeah, I would like to go for the letter. So research. Uh, yeah. Or carousing. Um, how how different is it? I mean, like carousing means like I get information from people. So research means yeah. I get information from. Uh, sources such as uh, contacts or any uh ledgers or even like people. Uh giving you access to like places that you can kind of investigate. It's a mixture of things. Okay. I, I guess it's not, I'll, like, I'll, it's not just library research. I will try. I will Carousing try is like more using your charisma stuff. La. So yeah. Research is more your intelligence, so your choice. La. How about that? Hey, they're both not very good. Like, Carousing uh... is charisma. You're, you're a freaking... <laughs> you're, you're a warlock. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm sorry, my bad. Cause I dump charisma <laughs> usually. Okay, I will do it. <laughs> okay, so it's we'll do the carousing. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do the carousing one. So yeah. Uh, downtime for carousing. Let's use the carousel. I sell stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Give me one second. Okay, my, okay, my sheet is back. So yes. I, yeah, I know I can do stuff now. No, let's not use this one. Oh, okay. I actually have plus three for investigation. No, not bad, actually. Uh, 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 you, last choice. Yeah, I, I know. I, I well, think... okay, persuasion is plus four, so it's more one. I just okay. didn't take Either way. efficiency. Either way, uh, yeah. your cruising during this entire work week would be like, uh, you've been spending it on fine food in the Moonstone Sun Mask or in any other inns that you kind of go uh, on drink okay. and socializing, uh, any kind of like entry fees to any kind of parlor, whatever you need to do. <clears throat> so regardless, for the five days, um, I ask you, would you want to carouse with the lower class, the middle class, or the upper class and nobility? Um, how much that is it? How much do I Cost? estimate if I go with the upper class? Upper <clears throat> class? Up, could go up to about 250. There might be other fees and penalties. But I don't have it, that kind of money. At least 250. Yeah. I'm willing to spend about uh, 50 gold, I guess. In total. 50 gold with the middle class. All right. So uh, the middle class would be pretty much mm -hmm. like citizens um, and... Uh, uh, I'd say like the white collar workers of 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 uh, Neverwinter, those who are like merchants, uh, and who either own like a, a little barge or, or a little bit of property or just have a business of their own. Uh, all the middle class like, are kind of like the uh, how do you say the skilled artisans of Neverwinter. So you will spend fifty gold pieces. On top of your living expenses, which is ten gold pieces, see all together for the fifth, for the five days. All right. 
Ito. It'll cost. I'll need you to make the hmm, persuasion check, please. Hold on, yeah. 50 GP. Yes. Kerosene. 10 GP likelihood. Giving cost. Uh, what was this uh, uh, rule? Uh, persuasion. Okay. La. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, do no. Oh, well, never mind. <clears throat> Whoa, no. no. Okay. That's so uh... <laughs> uh... Wait. Hang on. Uh, I think I have. No, I don't have any more inspiration. Sorry. <laughs> False alarm. Okay. Anything else? Um. Um. What can I, uh, can I use sort of like, uh, I'm going to try and to be. No matter how much you should be nice, it will not change unless you have an ability to do so. So <laughs> I don't have lucky. Just sad. Yeah, I, I, I'll take the 12 because it's not yeah. bad. It's, it's not great, but it's not, it's not that bad either. Uh, so, with a 12, you go cruising for a week or so. Eventually, in one of the, uh, hmm, so closer towards the, 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 okay, give me one second, I need to have a look at my contact. Uh, oh. Momento, momento. Also, I did not roll my HP. Oh, go ahead if you like to do that for your level up. <clears throat> well, I'm trying to see where's the hit die thing. Oh, uh, hit dice and uh, it's under class. Class, class. And when you configure the class and D and D beyond. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Okay. So I'll, I'll say this: even though you've already made contact with him, he is still there, and. You eventually come across in one of your uh, uh, little get-togethers with group Edibon Cross Cuss again. Edmund? And, uh, Edmund? Uh, Edimond Cross Cuss. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the owner, yeah, the boss of the uh, Cross Cuss merchant Where company. Else? And as he suddenly bumps into you as well during this kind of like drinking evening, looks at you like, ah, oh, it's... Said that I did not expect you to be here tonight. Or be friends with, and he just points to the crowd as well. Oh well, no, I'm just trying to, you know, get around. After all, people like, um, well, as you say, these people, they seem to have a lot of connections, and you know how far connections go. Of course. It is because of connections that I am here right now. But uh, is there anything I can help you with? Oh, well, it, uh, I look around. Is there is it is there a lot of people around us? Can we speak without getting, like, um? Of course. Uh, please to my private pal, and he kind of moves you to this uh, the side of the building, uh, and you can tell that. He doesn't own it, but it's more of like a private uh, like drinking area. It's very different from the Boonstone Mask. But it's definitely much more hush-hush. As, as the people that come out here are usually about the middle to upper class. That means like uh, from artisans to merchants onwards only. You don't see any of the, like, the soldiers or the regular Mintan, uh, Mintan mercenaries here. Hmm? And he just brings you to the side. Wait, is there the Mintan mercenary people there? Nah. Nope, none here. This is all the rich nobles people. Yeah. It almost seems like a 
uh, gentleman's club, but very posh, very posh. And oh, nice. he basically pours you a whiskey, uh, sits down uh, in the bar next to you, and just starts talking. I see you're very interested in gaining some sort of knowledge. You wouldn't be here speaking to me otherwise. So tell me, how can I assist you? I give I give a bit of a giggle. Like I guess it is very lucky indeed that we managed to meet um I wouldn't say during luck. the time it's of during it's the it's time of it's more like a bit of destiny. And I believe our meetings before and now are not mere coincidence. So there is something that is important to you, I can tell. Indeed. Um, especially knowing um, what you've told us about your request, you remember? To find <clears throat> your thing, your belonging. And you wish to search for these for me? You wish to uh, stand against the fades? Um, to say it's to a mutual benefit. You know, no and one does anything at... just for someone else. Not in this day and age. He looks at you with a raised eyebrow. Everyone, including me, have vested interest in matters such as these. So, let me ask, is there any personal reason you wish to seek the Thanes? For they are a dangerous group. That is true. I mean, having come this far, you can rest assured that I know just how dangerous they are. But yet, I'm still going after them. Must be someone very important. Uh, yeah, I, it, it, it's, it's very... Uh, there's no one else around there, right? No, nobody. Just you guys yeah. in the parlor. But he does put up his hand and says, Please, speak no further. Wherever this person is, it's very important. You can see you're willing to risk life and limb. Regardless, I can only assist to a certain part. I try not to touch matters with the Thaians besides assisting them on their next shipment. I have one coming in within the month. I can alert you of their meeting place and what we are doing there. I myself will be there as well to exchange the goods. So, so Edmund says he will be there. Yes. Okay, all right. But other than that, I don't know how else I can assist. If you would like to mm, capture them, interrogate them, I guess. But uh, the Thaians put up quite a fight, and their magics are unholy of nature. Now, I do not really understand. I too would not be sure if I will be able to take them on. Well. Probably, definitely not. But if not I could get yourself. my friends to come along with me, we might stand a bit of a chance. But how many people are there usually in this transaction, in this, you know, handling this shipment? The boat comes in. I'm there usually uh, to meet the carriage. The carriage comes with only one person. But my knowledge, people around the wayside where where we are doing this uh, meetup and handling of goods, most of them are agents of day in hiding, spying. Not many that I know of, but I could tell just from their looks. Also, and he just points to this, his forehead, like this is bald, like he, he, his dark skin is like it's just smooth and bald. Just points there. And... He's bald too. He's one of them. <gasps> Uh, no, he just points. He just points to his head. He just goes. These Thaians, uh, as much as uh, worshippers of the undead that they are, they like to keep tattoos of uh, their cults and their arcane knowledge, mostly around their forehead. You notice these markings. You know you are in the presence of one of these red mages. Indeed, but it's usually not in a visible place, isn't it? Usually they are hided with cloaks and hoods that people in the day don't see. But 
unfortunately, not all the agents have these uh, markings on them. It is hard to tell then who is really working. As you can see, even I just points to his own head. Uh, and not required. And I would definitely uh, object to, to such uh, remarking myself. Okay, I nod and I drink a bit more. And I try to ask him. So, definitely, I'm not going to put you in any sort of a bind. In fact, well, if we were to appear, I can even tell <clears throat> the rest to to pretend to not know you. Mm. Your uh, indiscretion is uh, much obliged, Miss Heather. Uh, I was just about to say, as he put down the whiskey on the table, half finished, that I did not even meet you here. How about that? Indeed. But know that you can come here anytime to look for me. Just look for the doorman. Give them my name. Tell them you are here, here on matters of, he just thinks to himself. Of great obliging. Um, uh, wait, he says in a month, within a month, but he didn't give an exact date, right? Yeah, he will say, yeah, he says he will update you. All right. Uh, he goes, so I know you are staying currently at the Moonstone Mass. Send oh, yes. a message there. It will be much obliged. Do not worry. I will update you at least a few days beforehand, if anything. Hmm. Unless the shipment is scheduled differently, it will should be within the next couple of weeks in this month. <clears throat> it's so very long. Where does it come? It's in the port where we are. That is correct. Uh, in front of where my warehouse used to be. Oh. Uh, we have a quayside, a private one that belongs to us. But uh, it is beside a bunch of other merchant ships as well. So it's not very private, but with a little bit of gold, prying eyes need not seek things so squarely in the night. I assume they come in the night? Of course. Uh, we meet at midnight, when it is the most quietest at the port. Okay. Oop. But... If I do this for you, I will expect a favor in return, of course. <clears throat> he looks towards you before putting a hand on the door. It's about to exit. And uh, I will think on how to uh, uh, attain, uh, yeah, how to leverage that uh, little favor from you when I need it. But do not worry. I will not ask for your lives nor the lives of your friends. I raise my mm -hmm. cup. As much as I would risk everything, I would at least prefer to keep my um soul intact until I meet until I meet the person that I need to find. And he goes <clears throat> as he opens the door and starts heading out. Dealing with the stains. I hardly think by the end of it we'll have one. He closes the door behind. But yes, you have made a friend with Adam on Kraskos. Uh, Kraskos, sure. he is your current contact uh, within this like uh, Port of Neverwinter. Uh, he is quite quite up there. So if you need any favors, you can ask him in return for favors as well. Uh, so right now, in asking for this favor, you already know lah, that you might have to do something for him in return. Hi, but noble merchant. Quite... Yes. Okay, nice. Sweet. Yay. Shiver. All right. <laughs> other than that, yeah, you just had to pay off your... Uh, okay. So uh, I'm going to get rid of 300 silver and 30 gold. Whoa. Okay. Did you spend it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> ah, okay. Need to also, like them. rule for me a D100 very quickly. Just in case. Okay. Um, all right. Yes, you get out the gentleman's club. Uh, no problem. Uh, it is unnamed, in fact, and it's told <clears throat> that anytime you come here, please do not mention it to others. Uh, your other friends, uh, my uh, your contact that you come like to get you here. Uh, they kind of like move off, and it's just like party people. And eventually, 
you come to know Crosscast much better than them. That's your only contact that you make during this time. Bad for 12. Okay. Uh, next, who would like to do their downtime? Uh, Snow? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Snow. What would you like to do for my thing? Yes, Snow is going to be carousing for underground contacts. Okay, so I am going to put this in low class. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so you can expect to spend at least 10 gold plus another 10 for living expenses, so 20 gold altogether for that week. Okay. And you can both be a persuasion check. Your bed. <laughs> Oh. oh no. Uh so with an eight, uh you go around and you, you try to do the same thing that Heather kind of does. And well, unfortunately you, you, you kinda understand it's easier for Heather because maybe she looks a little bit more human. For you, however, uh even here racism. in the underground context, uh, you definitely do feel the racism. Uh <laughs> unless you're a halfling. Uh, the halfling groups don't want to talk to you. Uh, unless you're part of the, any of the other mercenary or uh, gangs, nobody really wants to talk to you. And the moment you mention anything to do with the dead rats... Uh, oh, no, no. Snow wouldn't yeah. mention the dead rats. Yeah. Anything? Yeah, all right. So in, in, basically anything to do with like trying to get any context here. Uh, mm -hmm. Some do talk to you for a bit, but in the end of the day, after five days, uh, most of them kind of like, just like... Uh, uh, how do you say it? Yeah, they, they just leave you hanging for the next... Brush you off? Meeting. Yeah, yeah no, it's, off. it's just like... Yeah, no, you. it's no introduction. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I actually do... I'm actually good at forgery, and, like, I have commissions open right now. <laughs> so, you know... <laughs> <laughs> commissions uh, open. But unfortunately for you, for the five days, uh, you make no contacts in the underground. <laughs> <laughs> but I need you to roll me a D100 as well, just in case. Uh, open. <laughs> wow! Okay. Like... Yeah, nothing else really happens for you. You're fine. No worries. So, uh, we can do anybody who's ready next. I would also like to carouse. I'm looking for like less than legal ways to get into the city. Uh, okay. Smugglers and that sort of that sort of folk. Less than legal ways to get into the city. I'll say, um. Besides carousing, technically you could do research as well if you like. So up to you between carousing mm, and research. I think I have a better chance with carousing. Hmm. Better chance. Okay, sure. No problem there. Uh, same thing. Would you <clears throat> like to do it the lower, middle, or upper class? I think this would be the low class. Low class one. Sure. Uh, with 10 gold pieces, <clears throat> you can do that, plus another 10 gold for living senses. So you can definitely, uh, you definitely be going around the ports trying to look for these shadiest spots, yeah. the yeah. bingiest, bingiest bars, uh, looking for laborers, mercenaries, externals, mm. uh, even like two errant towns guard mm. and any other folk who frequently uh, uh, go to the cheapest taverns in the port. Yes, yes, this is intriguing. Over the five days, I'd like you to make me a persuasion check, please. Persuasion, let's try it. I know. Ooh, that's so literally one more <laughs> thing's gonna have gone very much worse. Roll me a D100 as well, just in case. But the same thing for you, Kusava. Uh, you, you're not sure, is it because of the accent or the language barrier, the way you dress? Oh. Whatever it is, what the hell? How do you get 32? What's going on? <laughs> you 100? Oh, yeah, 100. 100. Sorry, sorry. Uh, that, yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, I was thinking like what, another role. But yes, you unfortunately uh, do not make any contacts during the work week as well. Huh? Uh, yeah. You do, however, see a very forlorn uh, Snow sitting at the Moonstone Mask Bar, just sitting by herself like, oh. Week not going well for you either? No, not really. Uh, yeah. Apparently, there's no market for forgery, you know? I mean, like, I have, like, I have, like three out, two commissions, and then I have, I have, like, one maybe, and then another one for experience, but I said no. 
Maybe it's the new new kids, you know? They charge low. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys like sitting by yourselves, like in private, talking about this? <laughs> oh, just at the bar openly where everyone is listening. Yeah, nobody pays attention to us. We're like, I mean, oh, yeah. this is a CD bar, like, yeah, yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, oh, yeah, you know, see the same CD bar. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, like everyone here is talking about smuggling or. <laughs> Uh, poetry okay. and so on. Okay, let's, have, let's have some drink. Let's have a drink and then go back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right. actually imagining like a convention, like Snow just like, sitting in front of a booth <laughs> with like a blank <laughs> piece of paper and a pen by your side. Your stall. So, <laughs> Snow and Cassava, you guys go on a, a bar crawl basically through all the serious bars in this entire place, this entire port together. You know them all by name, but unfortunately, you meet no friends, except the one named Alcohol. And with that, I believe Snow is done. Uh, we have Kusaba and uh, Mogorov next. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kusaba. Oh. Mogorov. I, I, have, I have access to my computer now. Oh, yeah. All right. Are you there? I, I do have 36 points. 36 I was, points. I was on the money. Yeah. Um, I also changed my... Uh, Def I also changed my fighting style. I'm intercept now instead of defense. So my normal armor class in chain is 18. Is that do ooh <laughs> intercept okay. allows me to reduce damage for allies as a reaction. Oh, ooh, interesting. Which might have been more like handy than me having one better defense since I always get yeah. it anyway. It looks like you're building like this shield. <laughs> she wouldn't like she wouldn't build basically you just like dare to like thank for everyone <laughs> all right so, anyway so, what i'm gonna do is we we have the we're i guess we're staying at the moonstone mask for five days yep so i go ahead and um and give my share of the five days so i'll, I'll, yeah, I'll pay the five if, if yeah, everybody ten, else pays four i'll pay five um I'll go ahead and give 25 gold to Quain to pay for me. I also wow, really? really? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, oh, then everyone, also, you get the minus of one day's worth. So two days, two gold, I guess. Of, yeah, add back two gold, everyone else. Well, if it's four gold for everybody, and I'm going to pay the five, which is the difference to make the 32 a night, since there's only so oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. So um, I remove my armor. Mm -hmm. And uh, I put my armor and my sword and pretty much my uh, my uh, my paladin implements mm -hmm. on basically in my in my pack and I leave my pack next to my bed. Mm -hmm. um, I hand Quain my sword and my pouch of coin, and I tell him. If I'm not back in five days, then distribute this among the party. Okay. Wayne raises his eyebrows and um, pats you on the shoulder and says, um, whatever you're doing, I wish you good luck. Uh, thank you, but I think I'm going to need a little bit more than that. You need, need a help? I can follow you. Uh, also, also in the pouch is my sending stone. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah. Thanks. And then after after I do that, I walk to the gate. Uh, I'm, mm -hmm. So basically, I'm just wearing normal normal, I guess my traveling my traveling clothes, mm -hmm. and I go to the the gate of Neverwinter, and I basically begin a fast and also begin uh i guess talking to people as they're exiting to try to get information on what happened to the church mm -hmm. um because okay. i i'm pretty sure that the two events are not are not linked because mm -hmm. you have a you have a a series of demons and rats coming up, up from the sewer 
and you have an attack on the church from above. So I don't think that they're linked. I think there's something else that happened to the church. So I'm just going to just ask for any information about what happened, uh, where this, where, where any, if, if, where any survivors might have gone. Um, I know that there was mention of Helms, of Helms Deep or Helms Hold. Uh, Helms Hold, Hold. Yeah. I can't remember <laughs> what, what movie or book we're talking about here. <laughs> um, so I, uh, just look for any inf any information, anyone that might be able, anyone that might be able to to help. And like I said, I um, I stay awake. I don't eat. Um, I drink very little. But I'm I'm just looking for some some in some information. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it, it, I, I, it, it might even it might even get to the point where I almost seem like I'm ranting if I start losing if I start uh, gaining exhaustion. Um, no, no, you won't. I mean, if you you're just heading back straight. To... No, I'm not. I'm not going back to the hotel to the to the inn. I'm staying at the gate for three days. It's meditating. Let meditating. Three days. It's like a hunger strike. It's not a hunger strike, it's a fast. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where this is carousing, but it's not. Uh, it's research, but it's not. Uh, is it uh, sewing rumors, I guess? Kind of, but it's not. <laughs> so, it's, um, it's research, and you could call it. Typically, you need access to all that and all this, but how about that? Okay, so usually and that I, kind I, of research- As I see people like, leaving, I'm, I mean, basically I'm, I'm asking them questions. Um, I'm also trying to figure out through what I see, I'm trying to figure out if there's any any people that feel like any, any people that seem to not have been affected by what happened? Okay, okay. I'll do research for this. Um, and it won't cost you. <clears throat> However, you won't be able to add any modifiers or bonus because you're not using any gold. So technically, you just straight make an intelligence check. Uh, this would be just kind of like really my work, my worst out on my character sheet. You want me to do? I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, it's it's basically the most basic form of like intelligence gathering without any like cost. Uh, at the same time, what you get may or may not be true because it's all through word of mouth. Um, even if you kind of like collaborate everything, you might get something out of it. Uh, but definitely, there's no advantages to what you're doing right now, unless you have access. But I, I see right now that you're just trying to like go undercover and try to figure things out. Um, I would say it's not necessary, but I can see kind of what you're trying to do. Uh, it would take, regardless, the full five days of your downtime, um, because of the uh, the just. just the amount of time they require to get any bot sort of information is just so long. And you're right, it will take the whole day. You can sleep there and like not eat and not do anything like that. Uh, I won't give you exhaustion points. However, you can just assume that perhaps by the end of the day, you still need to head back towards the Moonstone Mask, take a long rest once in a while. Um, but you can just make me a straight intelligence check. Well, I, and I, I, I rolled an 11. How much? 11. Oh, sorry, I didn't see. Oh, it is down there. 11. Okay, you will learn two pieces of law or information uh, from this bit of information gathering that you've done. So basically, you can ask me, the DM, <clears throat> two questions regarding things you might be interested in, and I will give you as much information as I can about it or on that question. Um. First question. What what happened to the church? Okay. So gathering from the people coming in and out as well as the sound guards, 
uh, the church of Tom uh, was attacked one night. Uh, it is unsure who were the attackers, but now you are certain, uh, according to the people like who actually were there and saw it, there was a sign of Asmodeus burnt onto the side of the church. As for the people there, no one was actually hurt. Uh, it was actually just like the side of a tower or of the top of uh, the church, uh, church of Tom that was kind of like uh, attacked and destroyed. Uh, it seemed like it was uh, 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 like premeditated. There was oil. Uh, somebody definitely did something there and they definitely left the brand there to let someone know who did. And it was the brand of Asmodeus. All right, second and question. From what you know, yes. you think they are demon worshippers. But other than that, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, Asmodeus is an, is an is a lawful evil deity. Yeah. Or the de de devil or Yeah. Lawful evil. But yeah, anyway. Uh, you also know that the worshippers of Torm, uh, the priest and uh, uh, the head priest and whoever else was there, uh, there was only a very few of them, like, uh, priests that were inside the church, like roughly about four or five of them altogether. They all have been uh, relocated towards Helm's Hole, where they are currently setting up a small like shrine to Torm there. All right, for my second question, mm -hmm. Um, does any um, does any one or any faction seem to have not been affected by the attack of the rats? Anyone seem anyone seem to have benefited from the attack? Oh, does anyone seem to have benefited from the attack? From the major guilds, uh, the markets, uh, even from Edimon Kroskos, um, all across the board, you don't know anyone who has benefited from it. In fact, everyone's kind of suffered from it. Even the Z, who's had to kind of like buckle down uh, and like open up rooms to uh, refugees during the time, uh, it's kind of like moving in and out, and she's had a few of like uh, problems with nobles coming back in again. but. It's been slowly coming back and this is picking up again. Other than that, nobody else has really benefited from it. All right. And for the last two days, or the last two days of the five days, I am actually going to go to the fighting pit. Yay. Uh, but I, I would say, uh, because downtime usually come in work weeks of five days. So if you want to, uh, yeah, they usually take five days, five days anyway. So I would say right. this so three days, after. three days at the gate and two days at the fighting pit. No, because the research thing still will take five days, not just three days. It will take a full five days of your downtime. You can't do, you can't do like half, half something. It takes your full five days to do it. All right. Yeah. Basically during this downtime, you can do kind of one thing. Uh, there's not many downtime activities that require one day of downtime besides like resting, but yeah. Mostly, it takes you about like five days to ten work, uh, ten days to accomplish like, some kind of downtime. But yes, your yeah, downtime is complete. Uh, payment and all that is done already for living expenses. You don't have to worry about that as well. And that is what you find out from the law. I need you to roll me a D one hundred first as well, overall. Yep, yeah, fine. Uh, nothing really happens. Nobody really notices your information gathering. And as you head back and wash up again, you're back to Mogro. Uh, your fasting was a bit of an experience. Uh, none of the guards, however, have actually recognized you because you, you went to quite an, quite an extent. And uh, you can say even though you were like one of the few Dragonborn like moving near the gates uh, every day, uh, they couldn't tell that it was actually you, you. Okay. All right, done. So uh, we would usually have Marek, but Marek's not here today. I have no idea what's up. Uh, but might need you, one of you, to play Marek again. Maybe Kasaba. 
Uh, yeah, I'll go back with it once once we have him back. Uh, we'll handle his downtime. But technically, everyone downtime done. We done. Yes, everyone's downtime is done. Any last minute things you would like to do before the session continues? Uh, okay. Yeah. So, oh, sorry. Uh, you go first, Nako. Yeah. Uh, if you may, Eddie, if uh, can I buy a call? Uh, you, buy you, uh, I'm gonna buy an item. It's called Yikawa. Uh, what? Oh, the Yikawa. <laughs> you want to buy Yikawa? Okay, yeah, okay, it's yeah, a traditional sure, weapon for chow thinking. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, it's not really a traditional weapon for chow. But yeah, uh, you, you can definitely buy your power. It comes from Japan, <laughs> but... My, my sheet is too. not updated. It's not leveled. It's still level 3. In uh, level 3? In D&D Beyond. Oh. Oh shit, why? I thought you did it last week? Yeah, I thought you did too. Yeah, yeah, I thought you did last week. I think you wrote HP as well, right? No, Merrick, Merrick, Merrick. Oh, no. Merrick, they didn't level up yet. Yeah, Merrick and oh. uh, Queen don't level up yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Yep. You also have not rest. Do your level up. Do your level up if you need to right now. So, guys, just check your sheets. If you haven't leveled up, you level four. I thought I checked. Them. Yeah, he oh, hasn't good. rested, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he hasn't rested yet. Um, I'll do that for him. I'll do that for him. That's fine. He had to leave earlier. Eddie, dedicated weapon is useless. <laughs> no, that, uh, Eddie, dedicated Yikawa. weapon is uh, useless. <laughs> Quite useless. Why not? Dedicated weapon. No, no, no. I need. No, I need a. I need a feat called master weapon. Is it master weapon or? Yeah, master weapon. In order to use other martial weapon. Right now, if I buy a long sword, I cannot put it on the dedicated weapon because I don't have proficiency on it. I thought you gain proficiency with one. Yeah, I have. Okay, for mark, I can only use simple weapon and some few martial weapon. Long sword doesn't yeah. not count. That's why you pick an elf. No, but the dedicated weapon gives you something, right? No. It, yeah, it, it it actually gives me a proper. It actually gave me a proficiency for power up. Proficiency? proficiency? Yeah, proficiency for any weapon except heavy weapon or special weapon. Yeah. That I buy, I can use it like long sword. But right now, I don't know why in Daily Beyond it doesn't uh, appear on my long sword. Is it the. Oh no, wait, wait. I need a proficiency. I need a proficiency that Monk has. So I need a feat. Master weapon feat. What to use. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what you're asking, but I, I'm so are you guessing... Gonna take the feet? Are you going to take the feat for your fourth Is level instead of a stat bonus? No, I'm, I'm just going to skip that. Okay, keep so it. anybody else need anything else? The Yikawa, by the way, is the same price as the Scimitar. Um, so, uh, yeah, one goal. One goal. Sorry. Yeah, one goal. Um, Snow's going to identify the potions. Mm -hmm. uh, she has one potion from the Talion, um, still from, from way back then. Um, okay. Clear liquid with a, a glowing light suspended in the middle. Yep, yep, give me a second. Uh, sorry, uh, the Yukawa is 25 gold pieces, yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, 25 gold pieces. Wow, that's so expensive. But I can throw mm -hmm. it. <laughs> okay, well you can throw anything. Uh, yeah. all right. So the red potion is. And um, hang on, this one. Um, this is the note I have in D and D Beyond. Oh, okay. Clear liquid with glowing light. Clear liquid with glowing light. This was like session one. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, session two. The one, where we the one that I have. I've got one clear with silver specks. Light in the center does not move even if shaken. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, that. Uh, that's the potion that I have. Oh. Potion. And then we've also got three, three, I think three potions that kind of smelled like fish. Oh, that's the potion of breathing. Potion of water breathing, okay. Yeah, the one that smells of the sea and jellyfish. Okay. Uh, the other one, I think. Is... We also had three. Uh, red potions found in, in the sewer, I think. Oh, three red potions? Those are potions of health. 
regular potion. Okay. Oh, who is holding on to the scrolls, by the way? We got two scrolls in loot as well. Those are not my them. are not my thing. Yeah. I think it's Heather. Uh, Lina. I think it Lina could be me it. because I can Heather. actually copy scrolls, so I think I probably held on to it. But we've not recognized what it was. Yeah. Yeah, we're just trying to identify unknown items. We Get that out of the way. We just to use a read magic, I think. I think that's a cantrip, right? Uh, we don't have magic? read magic. There's no read magic in 5e. What is that, Pathfinder? No. I just remember what it is. 3.5 and Pathfinder, yeah. Oh, 3.5. Oh, and Pathfinder. Is heavy with yeah. I don't <laughs> have identifier or anything. Oh, wait. I get... Don't I get news out? Eddie, Nunchuck is sweet or what, ah? Uh? I think Warlock don't, Nunchuck don't have, unfortunately, you have to make yourself, it's considered improvised weapon. No. <laughs> but I can consider it a Japanese weapon, or, you know, the ninja weapon. Yeah, yeah, doing the thing I, saw, I saw the thing about, about uh, holding an item for an hour, like during a short rest, to determine its properties and then oh. also tasting potions. I think yep, you would yep, yep, yep. So yeah. hold the scrolls and. Can I taste the scrolls? <laughs> That's for potions only. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good I taste the long. I taste the long sword. <laughs> I bumped into Heather. Like, and like, and like, 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 yeah, one. That plus one. Yeah. Heather, <laughs> Heather yeah. licking scrolls and Morgoroth licking sword, licking swords. I'm like what the? Because <laughs> I was like, I'm in the wrong group. <laughs> I don't what know in a warlock. It sounds pretty. It sounds pretty effed up. <laughs> uh, I think I need to change. get another invocation. Then, can you can you describe the potion to me again? I'm still looking for it. I can't um, remember for the life of me what it was. Clear, it's a clear with silver specks with a light in clear the center, and the light doesn't move silver. even if shaken. Light doesn't move when shaken. Thought it would be this, but it's not. I'm like looking. No, no, it's not. I find it. There's so many potions. Um. Expanding yeah, would be a restor- I was hoping it would be restoration. <laughs> no, no, it's some weird potion. They're all the all the healing potions are red. Even the vitality potion is no, red. No, red restoration. I mean, it's was this like uh, was this from a random loot roll? Because if so, we could just re-roll for a potion, I guess. No, 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 no. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> uh what is it? I mean, it's like, we don't know what it is, <laughs> so... I'm looking for it, give me a second! <laughs> so, so, yeah, I mean, it could it just be, you know, Schrodinger's potion, we don't know what it is. It's, um... Either kill us or we don't. <laughs> until we observe it, <laughs> we it, I can it taste it. Is unknown. I think I can taste it. But still, the DM has to know what it is. And yes, I, I'm gonna look silver like, kind of like I'm looking silver, silver. No, it's not silver. No, it's not silver. No, it's not no, silver. It's clear yeah. liquid. Shit. It's clear yeah, liquid. No, clear. In my head, I'm trying to figure out. I, I usually remember it by just just by the description <laughs> back. Like clear liquid. Clear liquid. It should glowing light. I thought it was the visibility, but the other apparently not. Uh, it's this one. I mean, it just could be nope. Schrodinger's potion. That's gro- gro- potion. Gro- I just, I just... Well, no, the red one that I had that pulsed was uh, enlarged. Yeah, th- yeah, that's the potion of enlarge. You have that. Yeah, the potion of growth. You already know about that. Uh, oh, potion of potion no, of that's the eyeball one. Oh shit! What is it? Really? Uh, silver. I'm just racking my brain like. Potion of flight? Who's my... <laughs> no, no, potion... Probably not. Yeah. No, prob- no, 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 it's like cloudy stuff. Uh, flying yeah, has... Trying... Flying has clear liquid with cloudy white impurities. Wait, what? Potion of flying. <laughs> clear liquid floats in the top of container and cloudy. No, it's not this, it's not this. Silver impurities or white impurities? Silver impurities, I think. Yeah, so it's not that. Uh, don't think. Yeah. 
Mm. Sorry, I have to go through my list. Oh my god, I have too many potions. Uh, Let's say restoration. <laughs> there, there, there's no potion of restoration. I'm just thinking. No, it's a pink fluid. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I'd say if, if you're if you're going off of if you're going off of uh, a second level spell, no, not looking like I am. No, what is it? Oh my god! I really can for the likes of me remember it. Uh, we'll just, let's just let's just hold on to it. I, I will look up. I think I don't have this. This is not maybe my updated list. You can have make a potion of remove curse. Give me a second. Yeah, there's no such potion. Unfortunately, I can't. You can make a potion for most spells. Where did you get this potion from again? This Hoggins. When Sahagin. they attack the um the ship the, from the ship. The, the ship, yeah. It was in the chest in the bottom of the ocean, I think. Yeah, yeah, the Sahagins um, had it in a chest, um, like a chain, and then we pulled it up. Oh, it would have been the... Uh... Uh, the either ones. Mm. Take weapon master shit. Ah, I hate this. Uh, this is... is it a transparent liquid and has a floating sliver of a f uh of something inside it? It has, uh, you said it was a clear liquid with silver flakes and a light in the center, and the light didn't move even if you shook the potion vial. The light, so the light stayed regardless of, of how I moved the potion. The flex and the stuff moved. Think of it like a snow globe with the light in the center. Yeah, silver. Uh, potion can move. Like, I'm trying to find it. It says light. Light, 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 Maybe you just meant to say the silver flakes and you didn't mean to say the light. Hmm. If that's the case, which I think it is, I think it is. It's, you only have one of this potion, correct? Yes. In that case, it's definitely... potion without using it. Yeah, I think it's definitely uh, a potion of hill giant strength then. Wait, potion of giant strength? Hill giant, hill giant strength. strength. Hill giant strength, okay. When you drink this potion, your strength score changes to 21 for an hour. Uh, it's no effect on you if your strength score is equal to that. Transpassion potion, liquid, floating uh, so in no a effect, sliver. No effect on me, guys. No effect on me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, no, then if it's a snug drink that she'll be like buff for an hour. <laughs> for an hour. Talk about a plus ten. Plus, and then have a plus, massive plus cardiac arrest. <laughs> strength. That'd be like a plus nine to hit. Yeah, yeah so wait, 21. And so that means it goes from an eight to a 21. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You just see, just, you just see Snow just like, whoom, Hulk up. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, let me just add convert that and D and Beyond. Um, also, um, Snow's gonna sell the silver surgical tools at the hundred GP worth. But you uh, gave some to. Yeah. Oh no, you didn't. You took everything back. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, sell because, them for yeah. And yeah, then, sell them uh, for mm -hmm. and then she's gonna get a silver dagger. Okay, sure, no problem. Uh, does, does short sword consider light weapon? Yes, short sword is a light weapon. Oh yes, I can do. I can use. Two. <laughs> yeah, oh no, I the like the one that I had in the um sewer, that one was Marek. So I had I returned it to Marek. So oh, I, only, okay. I only have one now. 
Oh, strength changes to 21 for an hour. So that would only add, that only add plus one to me. I've already got an 18. What's plus your one. strength, Nico? Yeah, what, what is it? What is it? What's your strength, Nico? Negative one. Wow. Your strength is negative one? Yep. It's an eight for strength. I, hand, I, I nine. hand you the potion of hill giant strength. <laughs> you better save a snow. Oh, well, actually, no, no you, you use, you use uh, Dex, Dex, don't you? Yeah. Give, it, give it to yeah, Laura. Give it to Merrick's pet. You should give it to Merrick's pet. Merrick. Can the pet or oh, Merrick's yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, have, we, we have two, right? Or Because um, I have one in it my looks inventory. Like, yeah. yeah, it looks like Mogorov, you should hold on to it, just in case that plus one is really important. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. I guess I can. Uh, you know, worse yeah. thing happened. We have, three potions of water. we have three potions of water breathing. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait. Does it, does it mean we can go back to the cave? Well, mm. three of us can. Up to you. Up to you. But oh, yeah. Pretty... But we need more potions of water breathing if we want to get seven people in. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. I heard something. Just five of you go. Wait, wait. You got three or oh, three potions, yeah. Three potions. You just buy more potions, I guess. <laughs> well, if, 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 if we did stuff that actually earned us money, well, I mean, we just did five, some of you guys did. did. Five, <laughs> we just did five. We did five yeah. sessions. Five sessions fighting rats and things for seventy gold. Yeah. All right, Eddie. Uh, okay, see if we are so buying. Unless, buy unless someone item? has a, a mission that that actually gets us money without taking five weeks well, to do it. We have a couple of things, right? Arlon wanted to find the source of the weapons, right? The Thanes. Right. And uh, what did Sabine want us to do? Uh, uh, so, well, Sabine wanted us to find out who, who was the head of the Nashers and the, uh, what is yeah, it? Yeah, uh, investigate the Great Clans. Sons of yeah. Algandir, yeah. Algandir or something like that. Um, yeah. Sons yeah. of Algandir. Um, yeah. So, oh yeah, so hang on, our quest list. Um, which, which we uh, we kind of found out, but uh, we we gave her the wrong name. Yeah. Um, Purpose. According, yeah, according to my quest list, uh, we also have um, still have uh, haven't we um, reported back to Arlon about the weapons that we confiscated from the Nashers, the ones with the in origin. The ones that is from the red wizards. Yeah. And like we're supposed to find out where they come from and why. Do, uh, do we want to do that now or until after did I know, after but I mean, completed it's, it? It's still an open quest item for us. Yeah. So after we like we'll, we'll, we'll probably find out when you know we get to the shipment thingy. Uh, you, uh, oh, guess, you told them about the shipment as well, I guess. You've told us about that? Um, If it's at the end of the five days, yes. If it's not yet the end of the five days, I'm not sure. I've yeah, at the end of the five days. You can assume that the five days has passed and you have, yeah. you're you all now... Right now we're just struggling with, trying to... Sitting, sitting in one of your Moonstone, one of the rooms in Moonstone Mask. How about that? Kasaba has no it. leads whatsoever. Sharing session. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I told you guys that I met with Edimund and... Um, the dead red mages, uh, red wizards that we found underground. He has links to them, right? And they're bringing in shipments inside. Uh, they they they're bringing in shipments in a few weeks. And um, do I know? Do we do we can we suspect that the nature of the shipments are like magic items or whatever? DM. Uh, probably. And also, uh, anyone's mentioned that uh, any like spell components and things that. The cult requires for whatever they, the various plans yeah. they have. So that's Ready. a few. Can you weeks. allow us to buy magic item, weapon, especially? Do we have, have money? Do we have money for that? Do you have money to buy it? Yes. Of course. We're poor. <laughs> what, what, what magic <laughs> item would you like to buy? We're talking about money now. She was. She was uh, daddy's kid. <laughs> <laughs> would you like so to much. buy a magic sword? Only worth 3,000 something is fine. Do you have. <laughs> I now have twenty gold. Kind of. Hey. So one hey. first, first month of your shit. Twenty gold, like fifty <laughs> ringgit, lah. What is this gold, pay to play now? Uh, I mean, no. it's pay to play. With twenty gold, you, you probably can buy a house in, in the countryside. <laughs> but 
Ari, Ari, Ari. Money, yes. real money trading, right? Mm-hmm. That's the term, real Ari, money yes, trading. Yes, my bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. I have a, I have a question. I have, I have a question. It's kind of a follow up question to one of my, one of my questions. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, earlier, um, the when they were telling me about the sign of Asmodeus that was burned into the the temple of Torm. Yeah. Um, did they make it sound like something really big and ominous, or did they make it sound like it was just graffiti that someone was taking advantage of the situation? Uh, more definitely, it looks like a, it was a like a signature. Like whoever did that wanted to put like a signature of to show that somebody was, I guess, uh, perpetrated the incident. Like a black hand. Okay. Mm-hmm. You, okay. it, it's definitely it's definitely not a plant. Uh, so it so, was, more, so more of a more of a more of a we did this than a we were here. Yeah, uh, but you're not sure whether it's true or not. It's just that the sign was, uh, I mean, the, uh, uh, yeah, the symbol of Asmodeus was kind of branded on the side of the wall, uh, and it, that was found out during the attack. That's about it. Okay. As to, no, and nobody's just kind of gone up and stood up and gone like, oh, we are the ones who attacked the Tom and we've got like uh, demands, but no, nobody's done that. No one has claimed responsibility. Yeah, nobody's claimed responsibility besides the symbol of Asmodeus being branded on the side of the wall. Okay, but other than that, is there anything else you guys like to do before I introduce you to day session? Enter the birth to despair. Mm. Uh... Well, when 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 we after the five days of my doing research, I I get I get my armor on and I. Um, you'll notice that that there is a change over me, almost like a pall. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I don't know. You you see a darkness in me that you uh-huh. had not seen before, and uh, I and I worried. tell y'all that I am um with the recent revelations of what have happened with the with the church and the and the, and the attack on on the temple in in neverwinter um i am declaring a vow of vengeance against whoever perpetrated this event Ooh. all right so, so are you changing your are you changing your oath yes my oath is now vengeance Okay. Um. Oh. Right. Just realized that. Okay. Well, why does the... you still do you you still do worship Torm? However, yes, you're Sorry, yes, I still worship. I still worship Torm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Queen. I am, more, I, am, I, am, I am. I am now. I am now the long arm of the law. All oh. right. I mean. I mean, like. We okay, were yeah. relying on you to keep us in the straight and narrow, but. <laughs> oh, I mean. I'm still, I'm still very lawful. I'm just more retributive law. Um, hey, hey, you you either play a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. So. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. I mean, no, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll still stick with you. You'll find whoever did this. <laughs> you're, you're fine. Dark eyeshadows. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> All right. Just okay, moody. Cultists. Just okay. Cultists. Your best. It's yeah, fine. <laughs> All right. So, as you guys have nothing else that you guys want to do, all of you start heading down. Most of us. Coming down from your room. And I'll say over the five days, the weather kind of like grows a little bit ominous in the city of Nagurta. Uh, some stages have predicted like there's a coming storm uh, and it's going to be coming full force within the few days, uh, the next few days. And already today itself, uh, as you guys woke up, sorry, what's that sound, guys? Not me, because I can hear I think it. a wee. Oh, Mogorov, Mogorov, sorry, yeah. Okay, so
All right. Ah, crap. Everything restarted. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. So today it is raining and it's raining heavy enough that you guys have decided like kind of not to head out. Uh, patrons themselves have like, kind of rushed in uh, for the day, but like new people, you guys decided to like just basically shelter and like seek shelter within the Moonstone Inn. Uh, everyone's kind of huddled within the Moonstone Mask. Uh, laborers, merchants, politicians, all kinds of noble people and interesting folk. And as you guys all head down the stairs, this be loads. So, you guys have never had an interior of the Moonstone Mask before? This is the map. And looking around, it is full of people. You do even notice Lizette Shelter at the very bottom of the stairs. As she is talking to one, seems to be a, a noble, a gnome of some sort. Uh, pretty short, about like four foot three. Uh, dressed very nicely in evening, uh, this evening. A suit of some sort, uh, almost like a reddish, like blackish uh, outfit. And on his lap is a uh, very, uh, very beautiful human uh, dance lady dressed in pink as well. And Lizette kind of just like, laughs as they are talking and sees you all get down the stairs as she walks over towards you, Nogoro. Ah, I see you all finally down for the evening. I'm so sorry for the uh, weather. I can't really do anything about that. But please need me to make your stay here any much more comfortable, Mogra. And friends, of course. Uh, do talk to me. You guys have been a little bit quiet. Your old Madam Shelter. Oh. Hello. Hello. Sorry about that, Lisette. We're, we're, we, yeah. We've uh, just been, uh, I guess, taking advantage of. Uh, the events that have happened to uh, gather information or rest uh, before before going off to doing it, doing it again. Well, you've chosen a pretty bad time, and in the evening, nonetheless, it is raining super heavily outside. And she just points out the windows, uh, the stained glass windows. You can see there's a storm basically just brewing outside. Heavy rain patters against the windows and the doors, but inside. Uh, Moonstone Mask itself is huddled with light all around. You can see Bard on the stage, uh, singing and setting the mood, playing a little cheery tune. Uh, people sitting all around the tables here and there. You guys like move around, actually move around the map. So, can you guys see the map? Uh, it's really blurry. It's really blurry. Yeah, it's just loading for you guys. Uh, hopefully, it'll load soon. But you guys see at the bar. Uh, who you recognize Mogorov to be so Captain Mulhoran, the current uh, advisor to Sabine, kind of the person in charge of the Mintan mercenaries here in this area right now. Other than that, <clears throat> this that also just points towards a notice board uh, towards the side of the stand. She just goes, ah, we've also had some services required and rendered by public, so I've decided to add a notice board here for all. Uh, Community six, all I'm saying. Uh, so if you have any requests, if you have any uh, uh, um, uh, jobs, if you're looking for any of those things, just have a look at my notice board. All velvety, and, and you see to the side there is a very nice like a uh, wooden chalkboard uh, with notices and other things written on it as well. Uh, it is covered in like red velvet with uh, gold strings. And trimmings around the side almost looks like you uh, kind of like Ooh, a theater, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, curtains itself. And as you guys uh, look around as well, there is a lot of people around you. So that just goes, please enjoy yourselves. I have a lot of customers to talk to today. Uh, don't get yourself into any more trouble. And she starts heading off as well. well I'm going to move over to the, to the captain and introduce myself. Um, and 
you look at the captain, uh, he has a surly, uh, dwarven face. His body, muscular, uh, definitely looks like a fighter of some sort. And uh, <laughs> oh, no. definitely yeah, has that uh, quintessential Irish dwarven look with like very hair, hard face. <laughs> uh, uh, and just a very hard face as he holds yeah. his mouth face and just drinking to it, just looks towards you. And so, um, Captain Mullard, oh, what do you want? I just wanted to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Morgroth. I'm uh, a member of a little ragtag team that uh, tried to tried our best to help defend uh, Neverwinter in this last crisis. Uh, I see. You're, uh, uh... Living up to be true heroes, eh? Why don't you buy me a drink? We can talk a little bit more. I slap, I slap five gold down on the uh, bar. Ron, please. And in front of you, you see this uh, elvish uh, barmaid, and very old, definitely within uh, late centuries. You're not sure. Uh, she looks like the cook. She's like holding up food around and like serving people. Uh, she just pulls over a couple of mugs. Uh, Slushes them down in front of you. There you go. Whatever it is. And anything else? And Moharan just goes, He's Spain? I have no idea. We want anything else? <laughs> uh, Mogra? How about your friends? Uh, they, they seem to be meandering around, so I'll let them take right. care of themselves for the moment. Um, right. But I, I, I hand him a, one of the mugs, and I take the other one, and I say a, a toast to... Uh, Introduction. Mm. Make me a persuasion check with advantage. Uh, uh, right. Very good. See how well you do. Hey, 20. 20 is good. And Ooh. as he downs the entire uh, mug of ale that you just handed to him, just <laughs> you can see his chin just like frothing with the beer and the ale just blowing down his entire clothes. Uh, he just sloshes on the floor and slams it down on, on the counter. In very uncharacteristic uh, Morgoth fashion, I chug mine as well. All right. And he kind of waits for you to finish as well as you slam your ale down onto the counter and he goes, oh, Very good, very good. I see you have some fucking balls where you need them. And he just kind of shakes you by the chest. Uh, if only I had those kind of balls when I needed them. Uh, you can see he's starting to slur. Just with a single drink. <laughs> But uh, he seems happier, cheeks flushed, uh, definitely a lot pinker than previously. Uh, he seems to, you seem to have earned a bit of his uh, confidence. So, well, I'm, I'm going to take, uh, take advantage of the moment to kind of uh, look him over and do I see any, any religious symbols on him or is it just ooh, all military? Make me a perception check. Please. Oh, no. Okay, never mind that. Uh, just looking around, uh, yes, he just seems to be in uh, regular uh, uh, regular clothing, not in any of his uh, Mintan mercenary uh, gear. Uh, looking around as well, you've noticed that there aren't, surprisingly, aren't any Mintan mercenaries here tonight besides him. Uh, and he basically uh, goes on a little bit to tell you, it's like, uh, I'm supposed to be here for uh, the poor to his, uh, my groups, but they're late, and it's fucking raining outside and I uh, miss her and he just grabs onto you Mograf, as he hugs you I miss her <laughs> you can see his face is just like wet it's slobbering as he is uh, sniveling in front of you and he seems to be crying in fact um <laughs> Is there a is there a, a is there a quiet place that I can drag him? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you look around. I, know, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I'm I I I, I mean, <laughs> perfectly noble intentions. I promise. I just want to mm -hmm. get the sniveling guy out of view of the public. Oh, uh, he doesn't seem to care. Uh, as as even Theron just kind of shakes her head as well. It's like there we go again, and. 
uh, most of the other patrons don't give a mind as well as uh, so Captain Boron goes through uh, one of his episodes as he starts sobbing in front of you. Why did she have to leave me here by myself? I need to be by her side to help her grow. Don't you see? It's so hard. And he just puts his head like in between his, his hands. Like, why? Why? Am I ugly? And he just looks towards you. It's like space full of sniveling snot. This is, is it my fucking face? <laughs> <laughs> I try. I try not to nod, but I I, I almost nod. <laughs> it's right now. If you don't stop. <laughs> yeah. uh, and he goes on Mogra for uh, quite a while. In fact, I'll say good enough that you can make me a. Uh, you wouldn't even need an insight check. Uh, you can definitely tell he's definitely pining over uh, a female. Yeah. Uh, and. These are unrequited feelings, and that female is most likely General Sabine. Um, <laughs> Seriously? Why? Yeah. I, I wow. Can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. I, I, I try to console him. I told him, I was like, well, you could do so much better than her. He goes, oh, are you kidding me? She, she's, she's amazing. She's beautiful. <laughs> Glorious on the battlefield. Have you seen her fight? My God, fights like Dumbledore's armor. <laughs> oh, what Thor hammer? And yeah, he basically tells you like a little bit about her story, uh, how she's basically uh, she's led every charge, every major battle that they've had, uh, even def- even the defense against uh, the Moonstone Mask. Uh, she was actually there for the initial like barracks before. Uh, she had to take Griffin, like a few uh, of the Griffin riders, back towards the city to uh, secure Lord Neverember's chambers. Uh, but other than that, uh, he's mostly been at her side most of the time, uh, unless she's either resting or on other sort of business. This is the only one time she's he's not been at her side for more than a few hours <laughs> or a day. No. It's been a it's been a week basically. He's been kind of like stuck here, drowning his feelings. What did he? What did he say about the troops? He said the troops hadn't come in yet, or was that, or was that he had, was supposed to go meet the troops and hadn't and couldn't go meet them? Yeah, he's supposed to meet them here uh, after uh, off duty. Usually, they come here to drink uh, once they're oh. done with the uh, yeah. And surprisingly, they're not here yet. And I'd say you guys would know it's close. It's close to late evening, like after dinner time. Uh, I'll say you guys already have your dinner all sorted out. Don't have to worry about that. It's part of your living expenses as well. But um, it, it's late enough that you're, you, even you are kind of surprised that you don't see many Mintan mercenaries around at all. In fact, one or two that, uh, like the officers that are kind of like off duty and they're kind of like lingering around here and there, but nobody in uniform and definitely none of the big groups. <clears throat> Sergeant Andrew's not there. Um, yeah, no, none of the big groups that you usually see most of the time. There is a lot of other uh, patrons, however, uh, looking around. There is a bunch of people that you can go and see. But I'll say, for now, Mogorov, that's your kind of interaction with uh, Sol Captain Moron. Uh, who went to look at the notice board? Uh, me, Heather, Queen. Queen, and Nico. Okay. So, you guys, looking at the uh, notice board, it has a little menu uh, for room services there. So, uh, they have all the... Uh, uh, the normal fanfares of uh, exotic beverages and uh, meals that you can order. They even have uh, introduced fine fey wine and strong dwarven liquor uh, each at about a uh, one gold piece or five gold pieces per bottle. Uh, there's like a little like promo uh, scroll, like a piece of paper like stuck on it. Um, other than that, you do see a couple of postings there. First, there are several sketches of missing citizens posted on the billboard with rewards for information uh, regarding their whereabouts. And there's easily what looks to be at least four or five of them. Uh, they look to be uh, regular citizens of Neverwinter. Uh, some of them uh, are artisans, uh, laborers who usually work uh, within the port districts. But <clears throat> most of them have gone missing over the past couple of weeks. I'll say of the three of you, yeah, the three of you can make me a history check. Quick history. history check. Yes. Oh, wow. 
but I try. And yeah, yeah Queen. And no, it's history. Yeah, history because of the things that happened like five days ago. Wow. <laughs> uh, wow. Can make, Heather can make one if she wants to, but Queen, you definitely recognize okay. one of the faces. Okay. Yeah, you definitely recognize one of the faces. It belongs to one wow. of the dead bodies that you saw. Heather, you recognize it as well. In fact, okay. uh, one of the so called, uh, you see uh, the name there is. Yes, there is a, like this balding of uh, uh, what seems to be a port laborer. Uh, he's gone missing in the past uh, uh, 18 days or so. And apparently the last time we saw him was near uh, the, was it the northern parts of the, the, um, let's say, the area that you guys fought the Sahagwin. The, was it the ruins, yeah, the port ruins. And his name was okay. Uh, his name was Buden Pong. All right, yeah, never mind. He was Type it up. Buden Pong. A Slightly elderly, like labor worker <clears throat> in his late 40s, uh, went missing one night uh, during a uh, what, what seems to be a ferry job. Um, you recognize him as one of the day visit. His body was found inside the uh, underground warehouse area. So Heather and Quinn would recognize, yeah, would recognize the face and the body. Ooh. Well, it seems thematic because we were checking the corpses out. Uh, not in the not in the spider webs itself, inside the warehouse itself, like one of the bodies of amongst the the red wizards. <clears throat> in fact, it was one of the red wizards wearing this robe. Yeah, we we checked the red wizard corpses, right? Because mm -hmm. I I also went to pick up the emblems. Yeah, so you recognized his face immediately. He is one of the missing, uh, people mentioned. Oh. In who who is it to report to? It says to report to any town's guard or to the barracks of uh, the information. And if uh, it comes to uh, the attention, I mean, if, if anything comes of it, they would, uh, they would post a reward. Yeah, they would give a reward for the information. Uh, they did not mention he... how much, just that a reward is there. We assume he's dead. Is that the case? Is that the tunnel? He is very dead. Yes. At least yeah. Very dead. Impressed. Yeah. Uh, All right. Also, uh -huh. uh, there is another notice there. Uh, a request from a lady Spala Nidris. Wait, wait, wait. What's his name again? Lady Spala Nidris. Lady uh, Spala. Yeah, she's looking for bodyguards at a rate to be negotiated. Oh, this is interesting. As I say, more ground. We need your help here. <laughs> well, you look over at me, and you see you see uh, that captain crying into my arms, and and I'm just shrugging. <laughs> 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 Queen look back to the shrugs. <laughs> I guess ah, we'll mind. <laughs> yeah. uh, Come here, take a look at it. Actually, Barrick's going, uh, going to tell you guys. Uh, uh, they didn't let me keep Gora in my room, so I need to head uh, head to the animal pen in the back. Eat my eat my dear. I oh. will be gone for some time. Be right back. All right. He hit out the door here. Oh, the back door. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, and uh, meanwhile, Snow is, um, well, 
I, I was going to say Snow is going to book a seat for the party. And mm -hmm. yes, also, yes. Um, while she's doing that, she's going to uh, just sort of case out the other patrons. Okay. Uh, I can definitely tell you there is a lot of new patrons. In fact, uh, the ones that just come in, you can definitely see a couple of gnomes and even a dwarf. Uh, like accompanying the human as they move toward a uh, set of chairs inside, and they settle down as well. You do notice a few people that catch your eye, uh, at least from the regular patrons that you usually see come in and out. You see one lady over here to the side, the corner here. She is speaking, uh, this, uh, she's wearing this very nice uh, dress with a hip cloak as well. Uh, you can definitely tell she is like uh, sitting with some sort of air of nobility, in fact, it seems. And she is kind of arguing quietly uh, with this cloaked man uh, sitting next to her. And they seem to be in a hush sort of whisper. And you can see one of the serving ladies like come up like, Hi, miss, do you need this? Uh, uh, later, please. And she kind of heads off. And, Sorry, ma'am. And she heads off to it. Kitchen. But she seems to be inside some sort of private conversation, at least a hush conversation between right here. Yep. Other than that, uh, <clears throat> other than that, we do notice another halfling bard on the stage. Uh, very different from the one that was usually entertaining uh, here. He's a little bit more jovial, uh, and you can see him jump off the stage and start to like flirt and cruise the crowd as well. Uh, she's trying to get the attention, and one or two, <clears throat> one or two of them even like slip him a gold piece as well uh, for his tunes and his attention. But other than that, another lady over here to the top left, you see her sitting down. Uh, kind of her appearance kind of catches you. Uh, her eyes glow this purplish glow, and her hair is completely blue, almost like like coward cosplay blue, kind of like neon blue. Uh, very young, uh, human, definitely. And she's holding some sort of like a staff. She's kind of like waving it on the ground. You can see like light kind of move around in circles around the staff as she does that. Uh, she is accompanied by what seems to be a bodyguard as well. Uh, so Ooh. a bunch of people to speak to tonight. What would you like to do, guys? Uh, OK, so there's two tasks, correct? Hmm? Uh, there's two tasks. One is. We report to bodyguard the missing person, and the other one is called to Lady. Okay, can Salah? Yeah, Lady Salah. After mm -hmm. to to give a, a help for bodyguard, correct? To protect her, correct? Yes, so. Yeah, oh, and then we now. have noble lady arguing with men and moody blue-eyed lady with entourage. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. So, um, Stone is gonna try and stealthily eavesdrop on the um, noble lady's conversation. Let's say make me a stealth check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might do. I might do evil things. All right. So you kind of slide a little bit to the back uh, where the fire is. In fact. <clears throat> No, I would say you, in fact, slide all the way up front. Uh, you, they don't even notice you as you kind of like head towards the fire and put yourself there and kind of like uh, lean in and can warm your hands like, oh. Uh, and Curl easily, by the fire. You the, yeah, you, you hear a, a bit of the conversation. Uh, they are arguing about something. You're not too sure what. In fact, it sounds pretty much similar to the conversation uh, or an argument you heard some time ago involving the same cloak to man, but with another person. Uh, and he seems to be here arguing with a lot of people. But mm -hmm. as you were trying to listen into what they were talking about, he immediately stands up as Lady Sala just goes, uh, Ha! That is no way to speak to a lady. I, I, I'll take my business elsewhere. And the man stands up and just goes, uh, Bad luck. And he hits right out the main door in a half. And disappears as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Heather. And the lady just sits back down, just looks towards you and just goes, Men. 
Yeah. But <laughs> they always expect something in return. <laughs> well, what was the, what was she asking for, anyways? <laughs> like she just goes. Uh, she just kind of like frowns and just sits back down. Yeah. Business rivals don't like to talk about it. Anyway, uh, nice to meet you. My name is uh, uh, Salah Nidris. I'm a uh, bit of an expatriate here in Neverwinter, all the way down from Luskin. I'm from Luskin. Uh, oh, how oh, very nice. Uh, Luskinite, as you can say. Uh, how has it been doing here in Neverwinter? And you are? Uh, I'm Snow, and Snow sort of like rolls back onto her feet and like stands her hand. And she just stands up again from her seat and immediately curtsy, like curtsies, you know, this elegant dress. Uh, she sits back down again. Uh, and what are you doing here, Snow? I myself know businesses has opportunities, but uh, looks you up and down immediately. You don't look like a business person, if you so mind me saying. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I ran into a bit of trouble in Luskin and had to vacate the area, so to speak. Ooh, uh, trouble with the authorities? I hope not. No, no, not the authorities. However, in fact, I probably don't think the authorities will, could help, but eh. <laughs> Well, as, as you know, uh, uh, governance in Luskin is a little bit uh, offshore, so I've decided to move offshore and come yeah. down here. Uh, yeah. it's unfortunately, nice. well, it's not very much different here, my uh, my friend. As you can see from uh, that person, uh, that was uh, Elden Vargas. <clears throat> He's a uh, Comerian merchant, uh, apparently down here doing some sort of deals with uh, alchemic uh, concoctions. Uh, not really my kind of business, but I was trying to sell my wares. You see, uh, I bring salves and potions all the way down from Luskin. Uh, I would say a family secret, family recipe. Um, if you are interested to do some business, I could help you procure some potions if you like. Oh, well, I mean, that that sounds interesting. Yeah, we, we can always do some potions. Oh, um, is there, are, are there potions that can remove curses? <laughs> Those two must be joking. I've hardly heard of anyone removing a curse, let alone a potion doing that. But anyway. Uh, so, if you're interested, I have, like, she just points to a small crate down beside the chair. A few potions here, some potions of healing, even some salves. And you can definitely see there's, like, some ointments, uh, like, uh, this, like, whitish, like, almost looks like coconut oil, kind of, like, a salve within, uh, within jars. And she goes, uh, each one of the potions, about 50 gold. The jars of ointment, about 300. But the... Uh, Lot of healing doses in that one, of course. Uh, if you are interested, I could sell you a load right now. She just looks down at the crate. Um, actually, that sounds kind of tempting. Um, and Bye. Bye. Snow is going to pick up the healing potion. The one Ooh, that she wanted to ask you. How many do you want? Uh, She's just going to pick one up. Okay. And you pick one up and you look at it. And it yeah, definitely and... looks like a potion. Uh, you uncork it and just kind of like take a whiff. And she goes, hmm, testing the merchandise. Trust me, little one. These potions are of perfect quality. Yeah. Yeah. And unless okay. you test them. Yeah. You test them. Uh, they are definitely potions of healing. Okay. Yeah. So I will buy one for myself. Right. And how about the salve, perhaps? And she just takes out with a small little bottle. Uh, you will know, looking at it, it looks like the Kyogastam's ointment. Uh, these things will heal disease and poison and all sorts of things as well. Uh, it is almost like a cure-all for like a low dosage. Each, each jar would have like roughly about uh, a few doses, but yeah, it's 300 per, per jar. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, it's a, it's like equivalent to a lesser restoration or? Uh, basically, what the uh, Kyogo Distance Ointment does is that... Uh, hold on. Wait, man. Oh, is it essentially um, <laughs> more girls so play at hands in oh, no, it's, it's, ointment it's, it's form? Better. It's a bit better. So this is what the restorative ointment does. Uh, yeah, it's a wondrous item. Uh, it, just, it contains 1d4 doses in each jar. Uh, you roll it once, uh, you roll 1d4 once you get the jar and you figure out how many doses are inside there. Uh, each dose can heal 2d8 plus 2 hit points and it will cure poison and any diseases. Oh. I mean... If anybody's still diseased, I know nobody's exhausted because you guys technically have had long rest. Yeah. And we also have and more girls laying on hands. Yeah. You can have but this as well. Curse. Curse. Just in oh. case Ogro oh, isn't dead or doesn't yeah, I would have I would have I would have removed diseases on everybody before I went on my little foray. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. So punishment. Eh, I mean but, I mean there's poison as well. Leonard says uh, also removes status. No, no, no. Uh, the 50 GP a queen is for the regular healing potions. Uh, these ointments are 300 GP per jar. Wow. Three, uh, oh my god. Yeah. 300. <laughs> How many doses do you got? Contains, oh, 1D4. Uh, 1D4 plus 1. You will roll once you get it. Yeah. Um... Yeah, no, Snow is going to say, uh, I mean, I, we do actually, uh, you know, we actually have um, this this person, he, um, he, he healed diseases just by touching them, touching people, like just putting your hands on people. She goes, really? You believe that sort of mumbo jumbo crap? Or, or, or go ahead then. But, uh, you know, one day, if you suddenly start coughing again after being cured by a touch, and she just... The Kyodom's ointment does act as a lesser restoration. Yeah, removes, pretty much. It removes exhaustion, I believe. Oh, Ooh. no, no. This, this, this one doesn't. This one does not. Then it's ointment not does not re re reduce. Yeah. Uh, and I would never... I would never endorse a reduced version of an item. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. But yeah. uh, Lady Sala just goes, well, at least I have potions. And if you require something a little bit stronger, I can put in order for you, if you require. Um, is there anything that can do? Well, if there's anything, I have a friend who is currently, well, and then sort of like lean in and whisper, has issues of lycanthropy. A lycanthropy? Oh dear, don't worry about that. My third cousin up north had the lycanthropy as well. Now just howls at the moon every month or so. Uh, just lives pretty much of it. Uh, do lose a few of the, the, the farming crops once in a while. A uh, couple of horses. But uh, it should be all right. Why? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have such a cure for that. You would uh, probably need somebody. And Eddie, like, you might want oh? to hear a twist. Comment. Probably a little bit stronger than the priest. If he hit priest? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm not too sure about those yeah. matters, unfortunately. But no, yeah, I think I'll just uh, pat on the one potion that she has. Like, I'll just take right. this and then hands her 50 gold. Much obliged. Thank you very much. And if you need me anytime, I'll be right here. Yeah. Sure. Wait, so actually Snow's going to ask, um, so where are you setting up shop, by the way? Oh, uh, I was thinking of uh, getting to the city, but unfortunately right now, uh, I'm not able to hit in thanks to the tariffs. Uh, but my house is in, in the uh, Black Lake District. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, most of my time here, you yeah. know, just conducting business. Yeah. That they, they won't let me in. 
<laughs> oh, well, uh, there are rules and all of us are obliged to follow them, aren't we? Yeah. She kind of finds herself, sits back down. Good evening, and uh, nice to see you too. Nice to see you too. So the rest of you guys looking around, you guys got things to do as well. Uh, also, notice uh, board. Uh, uh, just very quickly, I will mention the question mark of the notice board. Uh, it's just there to tell you that there is something new. If there is no notice board question mark, meaning there is nothing new at the notice board today. All board. right. As I grab the, the second one, should we do it? Mm -hmm. uh, I ask Heather and Queen. And the bodyguard? Uh, yeah, we can yeah. do this in, in two shots at one time. Because, yeah, you know, we can report this at the same time. And we got it. Uh, um, yeah. I go to the waiter, Lizette, and ask her, who is ladies? As I look at the paper and say, ladies, Stella, need me? Oh. Uh, Lizette just walks up to you. Uh, I believe your friend over there has just spoken to her and she'll point to the lady sitting in the far corner. You see Snow oh. just coming up like from talking next to her, oh. even holding a potion. I, was, I uh, go to Snow. <laughs> I go to yeah. Snow like the little kid and I run to her like, No, 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 no! Look, what? look, look, look! <laughs> that woman I can give us money! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> No, 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 it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> what a joke. I show at her. No. Yeah. Uh, that, that girl, that, that girl, he, she asked her for her help in the oh. spot. Oh, yeah. Snow is going to take the paper and uh, head over to her. I follow mm -hmm. her. I follow Snow <clears throat> as well. Yeah. And says, Ooh, uh, well, lucky coincidence, I guess. <laughs> and like, she's holding up the, the papers and it's like, um, I'm actually part time, like working as like, um, well, adventure. Yeah. Um, we're, we're the members of the Wandering Tide, um, a bunch of uh, collective um, misfits, I guess. Um, yeah. We can totally take this job if you're interested. No, oh, really? Uh, well, technically, I'll just need an escort back to uh, back to my house, and uh, I should be heading back before the midnight anytime soon. Oh, that's are, are your friends all are, are here right now. Um, oh, well, I could I could gather them. Um, they are all in here in this building. Don't worry. About it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, there. Um, and then it's no like looks over to the wailing dwarf and says, one might be preoccupied. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. What are these people approach? <laughs> Snow's cat sense is tingling. <laughs> All right. So you definitely see like people just like moving around, patrons just standing around and sitting. Uh, the people that are working here, you kind of recognize them now that since you see them quite a few times, I've interacted right. with a few of them as well. Uh, right. This one on to the right over here, I can do them one by one. Here we go. Uh, this is a half orc named Aylan. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, one of these working staff here. Uh, another one, Linu, you have spoken to her before regarding uh, Elden Vargas. She was the one who uh, was there when she saw the uh, another like argument happening between him and another person. Oh yeah, uh, she yeah. is like an elf. Yeah, this elf, elf looking uh, waitress as well. Uh, definitely very young. You're not sure her age. Uh, that one. Uh, you also one I seen... Yes, yes. Oh no, no, the one you suggested is this one. The one oh. you suggested is this one. Uh, don't really have a face. Sorry, her name's Hadra. Uh, she kind of like always kind of looks away and is a bit shy most of the time. Human as well. Uh, Linu, Hadra, Dalen, these are the ones that work here, and another human man named, uh, where is this? Oh, there he is, Arin, this uh, <laughs> kind of like dark skinned, uh, almost like Eurasian looking uh, man. Uh, he looks to be like, yeah, head, almost like the, the head waiter, kind of like yeah. looking amongst them and checking everything's working. Uh, but other than that, Theron, the elf cook, 
is the one in charge of all these races and they right. report to her most of the time besides okay. obviously reporting to Lizette. Yeah. The rest of them are mostly all patrons besides the ones you've just met. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So I was say, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can totally gather them. Um, so and then Snow is going to with a little bit of flourish to mm -hmm. then um, gesture to Neko and say, this is um, Neko. He's a Hi. monk. Um, he's he's really good with punching. Um, oh. this, and uh, we have um, Queen, who is um, a cleric of Saloon. And she just looks each of you one by one up and down uh, as she takes it all in. She almost has a very critical eye looking at you all. Uh, doesn't comment anything. Uh, but at the very end of it, she goes, well, just a few of you, and I'm sure to meet the rest who are still coming in here. Uh, <laughs> as, as hello! Oh, I we, still have, hello. we still have three others, but um, you're right. Busy doing your thing. The night is still young. Uh, I'm still going to be here for at least another hour. Have yourself a drink, enjoy yourselves, and once All I'm right. ready to go, I will let you know. I will be sitting here most of the night. I'm just trying to enjoy right. myself. You know, after a long business meeting, just want to get the drink down. And you see her pull a cocktail, uh, this reddish wine uh, mixed together with what seems to be like uh, ale, like brandy ale as well. And she just takes a little sip of it and starts to go a little bit pink. Oh, mm. uh, if anything else, please, let's just talk business another day and uh, I'll call you in a minute. Hi. Uh, I will run towards more growth, you know, like uh, <laughs> that's right. report everything like elitic. <laughs> I, I start thinking like I'm running like a little kid, you know, that. <laughs> that <is. Okay. laughs> so, All right. I like everyone to kind of place yourselves <clears throat> where you guys would be standing, where you would be. Yeah. Most of you. All right. Uh, everyone, get it up. <laughs> Why? Yeah, is there yeah, going to be a bar fight? Oh. So, as you guys head off to do your things, don't move first, or sit down at a table, you suddenly hear the door swing wide open. And everyone kind of stares almost. Even the bard has kind of like stopped, uh, stopped playing. The music immediately dies down and everyone looks towards the doorway. You guys see five cloaked figures step through the door. Uh, immediately the patrons it? all like oh. move away from them. As they just growl and kind of like huff. Their bodies uh, still drenched in the outside rain. Uh, they just walk in treading water all over the floor. And Lizette kind of like runs up behind it's like, uh, excuse me, can I help you? And they just put up one hand as she immediately backs off. As that one hand that this man holds up the back is completely covered in tattoos. All this arcane runes all the way up to the fingertips. And as he removes his head, his hood as well, you can see the runes and the arcane tattoos go all the way up to his skull, all the way down back down to the spine, all the way around the neck. And you think it probably covers his entire body. These men start walking about, just glaring at the patrons, looking around at all of you. They start to move around on the, on the floor, heading towards tables to certain patrons, even one heading past you as well as Snow, just like walking past. Like, mm -hmm. And everyone's kind of like tense. The whole atmosphere has kind of like gone to kind of like this weird uh, what's going to happen kind of thing. And as the man with the hood like, was just removed, he's all tattoos on his forehead. He walks forward right here. And just looks at all of you. The table sitting down. Those standing around. Just looks at all the patrons all around speaks as well. <sighs> so, this is where the people of Neverwinter like to enjoy themselves. Spend their sins. 
our resources. And you see every one of those cloak figures start to draw out a club. And then the oh. club itself is like this iron club. It seems to be burning, like something is emblazoned on the club itself. A symbol of three triangles that resembled a winged devil. Most of you, especially the one who has seen the symbol before, recognize it as the symbol of Asmodeus. As the man holds up his own club as well and shouts, As initiative? Asmodeus! And he slams down the club onto one of the patrons. As you see the man just fall down, ah, blood runs from the man's forehead as everyone starts screaming, ah! And there is chaos. And with that, everyone, please, tell me initiative. Which is the man that died? He didn't die, but he did fall down up here. Like you see Where one of the patients basically oh, just okay. get knocked down. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't die, but you can definitely see he's bleeding. So and he stumbled down to the yeah. ground. The All brother. right, Morgroth, time to shine. Let's go. <laughs> right. With that, everyone, roll initiative. After rolling initiative, we'll take a quick five-minute break. A little pee. And then we will come back to combat. All right. And oh, everything that's happening. Why are you always running away from Yes, I think so. Hello, 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 hello. Wait, wait, wait. Hello. Message them first. Yes, oh, yeah. Ready. Yeah, awesome. Is, All right. Is Lina here? Lina here? Lina? Well, she's last okay, anyway. So give her, yeah, she's last she anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's got plenty of time, so don't you worry about that. So, top the round. Let's begin with Neko. Neko, you're all the way here in the corner uh, with Mogorov and Captain Mohoran, like hanging on to him, still crying. Doesn't seem to even notice like there's something going on. Oh, you like to. Uh, I, I can hear the scream, the one that saved. Yes, from the crowd. Yeah. yeah. I ran towards the. How far can I go on here? Can well, you, can you, you have your... feline agility. You, you really have no limit right now. Yeah, you can I go wherever four... you want. You can run out of muscle mass and come back in if you want. <laughs> yeah, I will move. Uh, no, no, I just want to count. And I know I have 40 movements. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. Anything fine, besides right? the table? Yeah, anything, everything is like regular terrain besides the tables and chairs, like, which is all considered difficult terrain. The bar, uh, the stairs also, the, the stairs heading upwards is also difficult terrain. Uh, any windows that you might want to jump through is also difficult terrain. All right. In that case, I will follow your arrow here, mm -hmm. here, and here. Oh, no, sorry. Yep, behind there. Okay, sure. Get all the way up to the notice board. And yes, you do see one of these uh, cultists uh, holding up a large club. Uh, it almost seems to be like almost like an iron rod, and at the end of it, you can see uh, this three pronged symbol of Asmodeus blazoned into it. It's almost like it's lighting up this yellowish or reddish color. Ah, uh, well, in that case, I will try to set Addy, him with my. That is the the one at the very bottom of the map. Is he supposed to be in the room or out? Because yeah. he, I can don't only worry about that. that. Don't worry. About <laughs> All right, I will. I it, it just seems like he's in the wall. Yeah, he's kind of in the wall. Don't worry about All right. That. I will attack <laughs> with my Yukilwa. I will attack yeah, with him. Go ahead. As you with pull out your curved, yeah, your curved plate, your, your power that you just procured from the market, go, 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 slash, slash, slash. There will be some attacks. Yeah. By saving up, is it on your astral arms? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Health actions is available. Yeah. Uh, I, I hold act, uh, health actions are not available before combat. That's all. Oh yeah. Uh, that, anything, oh, yeah, anytime yeah. there's any combat or actions uh, involved to like affect hostile actions, then yes, initiative is rolled immediately. Twenty three will definitely hit. Ooh, so damage. Eight slashing damage as you slash across the back shoulder of this guy. He just turns around, looks towards you. How dare you? Bonus action. Kick him in the face. Oh ah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have turned around. <laughs> Surprise! Boom. Ooh, with an 18, that definitely hits. You just 
kick him right oh, in the chin. You see his teeth like just smash up right into his face as blood flows from his mouth. Uh, he is definitely very hurt. Uh, all right, flurry blow. Okay, no, I cannot because I need to say it's flurry blow first. Yeah, bonus before action. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You just did bonus action attack, so two, done. Okay. Yeah, uh, anything else? You can move still yeah. five feet. All right, end of your turn. Marek. Uh, to get Gora to dash, it needs a bonus action, right? <clears throat> anything to act to, uh, like ask Aura to do something is a bonus action, yeah. So Gora will dash to here. This guy. Mm -hmm. and, dash, okay. Yeah. And uh, can can... I think he can charge. No, uh, no, no. Nah. He can't fire enough. Not fire. Nine, yeah, no. not enough movement to attack. Yeah. yeah. And okay. Hmm. Yes, the dash. I'll move this, here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Actually, if I move here, mm -hmm. Eric will actually take out his longbow here and shoot. Oh wow! Bow. Well, he's nice. finally using a bow. Well. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> better than not charge. doing anything. Well, the place not here now. Like you know, but better not, <laughs> better than do, not not doing anything. Yeah, standing and doing nothing is usually yeah. uh, incomparable yeah. <laughs> solution to anything. Yeah. All right. So, that, so, so we'll attack. you shoot at the guy. I wish you hitting the the, the one that Neko shot. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. Shot. Sure. Go ahead. Oh, I saw that twenty. I saw that twenty. Uh, you, you see, Mac, he just fires a bow directly at this guy right into his neck, <laughs> and he just keels over, bleeds out on the ground next to you. Next, like, I'm actually quite good at this. Should <laughs> 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 you next? <laughs> All right. right. I think Eric. Merrick. I think Merrick is done. It moves. Action. action bonus action. Yeah. yeah, done. All right. End of your third. snow. Yeah, uh, bonus action disengage. Sure. <laughs> get up uh, yeah, activate feline agility. Activate feline agility. <laughs> feline agility. Yeah. Uh, so she's <laughs> yeah, and then she's going to move here. Um, increase 40%. <laughs> and is going to stab this cultist. Ooh, with a sneak attack. Let's go. Yeah. Josh! <laughs> okay, imagine you just like cartwheel away from him and you like stab him. Oh. Oh, another one, another one. Hit. 14 will still hit as oh, you run right up to him and stab him right in the gut. <laughs> and he starts bleeding hard. Uh, but damage, he yeah. looks down at you. Yeah, he looks down at you like holding, holding the dagger. It seems to have not like hit a critical spot. He's hurt. He's definitely bleeding. Okay. And then Snow is going to zoom me out of here. So 15th foot. Uh... I didn't roll for this guy. I thought I did. One second. Uh, you did. Roll 13. It's in the chat log. Ooh, I didn't roll for these guys. I'm so sorry. Uh -huh. uh, sorry yeah. about it. Snow's gonna go zoomies up to here. Um, I can still see them, like up the stairs, right? Yes. Okay. And do I still have angle on? Like, can I shoot around corners, like from here? Like, can I target? Um, can I target that guy from here? Mm, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, wait, what do you see right now? Well, right now. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. So I'll just remove okay. this part. Yeah. So for now, just imagine. Yes, that's the top of the stairs right there. But yeah, you can see there. Uh, the stairs do not give you. Well, they give you half cover. They'll give you half cover. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Right. Anything else? Uh, that's all my actions, yeah. Okay, bonus action, action done. Queen. I'll use this one instead. Activate Channel oh. Divinity, Twilight Sanctuary. Uh, Ooh. 30 feet. My circle, done. Twilight Sanctuary opens up. 
as you see, like this burst of twilight uh, appearing from Queen outwards. And yes, everyone inside the spear gets that. Da, da, da. What else do you do? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, technically they get it too on their turn. Yeah, sure, sure. And bonus action, cast Shield of Faith and place it on Heather. Sure, no problem. All right, that's good. So Heather, oops, sorry. Heather's AC should be 17 now. Okay, shall my reading. Okay, then, uh, end of your turn, Queen. Mogoro. All right, so you said it's a uh, difficult train to get over the bar, right? Yeah. This is definitely difficult to read, all this. All right, so I'm going to, uh, I'll just show you, so 10, 15, 20. Oh, shit. <laughs> 20, Never mind then. <laughs> 25, 30. Mm -hmm. 35, 40. And then I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt on the guy that mm -hmm. just hit the, hit the person. Oh, this nice. guy right here? Yeah. Roll your Guiding Bolt, please, as you put out your hand in front of you. This oh, I don't have Guiding Bolt anymore. Never mind. Oh yeah, you're no. a vengeance. Never mind. Um, actually, throw your thought. <laughs> no, no, I'm not throwing. I'm not throwing. I'm, getting my oath I'm not throwing my sword. I throw my um, legendary thought. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Bane on all three of these guys. Oh, awesome. Oh, um, that's awesome. Good, that's a good ass spell, actually. So uh, that will be cool. a. Wisdom? Oh, charisma. 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 Okay. Bane is charisma. Better than wisdom. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> what's your DC? Uh, the DC is 12. 12. Okay. One, two, three. Nine. Oh, dear. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> nice. Eddie, so all do you have negative two charisma? Do you have negative two? Awesome. And then, as a, charisma. then as a bonus, bonus action, um, no, I'm not close enough yet. Never mind. Okay. Actually, could I have, <laughs> yeah. that was, that would have been 30 feet, right? So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's, yeah, that's yeah. mine. All right. Yeah. Awesome. So this guy's had to roll a D4 on attacks and saving throws. Uh, All right. Awesome. Uh, end of your turn, Mogoro. This guy. And I'm, and I'm going to say for Torm. Oh, for Torm. All right. So <laughs> you see. This door burst open on the right, and the door down below burst open as well. As two cloaked figures moved in, uh, removing their clothes as well. They're not holding clubs. They're holding what seems to be, uh, if you know what the Garrett is, it's like the oh. hitman wires. They're just oh. holding like, in between their hands. As this one runs up to here. This one will come through the doorway. Mm -hmm. Close this one would be. All right. So these two are going to make attacks. Oh, no. One and two. Oh, no. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, all right. Oh, okay, the damage is so low. So, okay. uh, this one starts to put the wires around Lady Salah's neck, and she's like, "Ah, oh, what did you do? I'm happy you come. And she just gets like basically manhandled, and the wires go around her neck as you see it pierce through the skin, and blood starts to flow, and she starts to choke. And this one pulls her back five feet. Sweet. Yeah, it's fine. So she is now grappled <laughs> and technically bleeding right now. Like bloody, bloody. Okay, okay. Hard to see. Okay, find this one over here. Uh, this one also, same thing. He's also bloodied and also grappled by this one over here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, cool. All right, end of their turn. The thugs turn now. They are going. Closest one, <clears throat> this one towards you, Heather. This one will run 
towards Mogro. And this one will also want to towards Mogro since I, okay. yeah, they're gonna you. Uh this one will hit hmm. The one who did damage to it was who already? Uh? Queen. No, Queen didn't do anything. Who, who damaged this guy down here? Uh Snow. Oh I Snow. Did. Oh, you're so far up. Nah. He's probably gonna focus on Queen. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it looks. It, uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Okay, uh, let's do Mogorov first from the very top. So Mogorov, uh, these guys have attack <clears throat> tactics, so they will attack you each twice. So here we go. One, two, three, and oh, four. Wow, the first roll wow. against him is always a net twenty. I feel bad. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a net twenty and nineteen. The first two rolls. Okay, uh, net 20 will hit, 23 will hit, the rest will miss. Not, well, the, plus Bane? Plus Bane? Uh, the, sure, sure. Well, uh, I'll roll, well uh, the natural 20 is going to hit regardless of yeah, the Bane. Yeah. So I need yeah, to yeah. roll a concentration check on that one. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should do that one first, actually. Yeah, you're right. You'll take 9 points of damage first and make me a concentration check. Uh, ah. Nope. Bane is gone. Oh, so no. the other one, the other one will go in as well for twenty three, uh, uh, or oh, it's it's there, it's there. Sorry, it's ten bludgeoning damage. So mm -hmm. nine plus ten, nineteen points of bludgeoning damage altogether, and unfortunately, Bane drops as you feel your concentration wa waver. Because I... They smack into you, these clubs. All right. Uh, yeah, that's Bane gone as well. This one is going to hit Heather. No Bane. Uh. Just regular attack. I should hit twice. Well, if they're attacking at the same time, would it still have nah. a bane? Nah. <laughs> nah. Well, you, you, gotta, uh, you gotta choose. Are they gonna act in unison, or are they not? Uh, even if they do act in unison... Because if they're, um, if, because if they're not acting in unison, the first guy didn't get pack, pack tactics, which means he didn't crit me. Which is... No, 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 they get pack tactics because they are next to each other. Uh, regardless. So oh, on, their first, and I... on their first attack, they should have Bane. Yeah, yeah, but he rolled a net 20, and like you said, without I... Bane, regardless. But the other, yeah, the other one that attacked me should have Bane on his first attack, and the one that attacked Heather should have Bane on its first attack. Nah, nah, these guys are going at... Like... Then it's not in unison. Yeah, you're right, I'm it's just, not in I'm unison. Just saying, I'm, just, I'm just saying that that if it's not in yeah. unison, they don't get packed tactics. Uh, why not? Because pack tactics is just they need to be next to each other. That's all. They move first. Uh, the, they move first. Yeah. yeah, they can move first. They, they don't they, have to attack. Right, but yeah. they're not moving. But are, if they're moving they, together. They, okay. Yeah. Then, uh, but, so I'm like, if you guys get summoned like creatures and like even Gora, like I will allow you guys to move on your same turn. Like anything. So anything that's like the same will move together. Uh, we'll act together. We'll have tactics and uh, abilities just, to move like this so. together. We're, we're getting we're getting creatures with just less than less than normal intelligence that get to act like gods when they attack us, but yet we're not allowed to. I wouldn't say they act like gods, but I tell you what, uh, Mogorov, if you are unhappy with the fact that they hit you, uh, all I can no, say is no. I'm just I'm saying that if they're if they're moving up together and they're attacking together, they should have the same minus to their attack for the first attack. That's all I'm it's saying. Happening at the same time. Hmm. Okay. So I, you can I will move one up and attack with it. You can move another one up and attack with it. You can move another one up and attack with it, and I will accept whatever you do. But if you okay. if all three of them are going to move up together, so and attack, I'm, going to I'm going to homebrew this. If if it's not uh, compatible for you, that all my creatures will work at the same time and choose to attack at any time they like during their turn, and they all, yeah, uh, if they are the same creature, will act together. I guess you like can say group. that the first one held their action. That would work. Yeah, and to be very honest, no, no, they won't have held the actions. Uh, they just take actions at the very same time. Uh, it just makes things a lot faster this way, rather than me having them roll initiative, uh, multiple like, like all for each individual one. Uh, it's also makes combat goes a little bit faster for both sides. So this is what well, I is how I run my combat. There are not not always the same thing. Uh, I to debate whether this is fairer or not. Uh, we can do that another time, Mogorov. Uh, for now, this is how I'm running my game. Okay. All right. So with that, uh, those attacks will have gone in. Uh, these two attacks are hitting you. 
uh, have it for one attack and two attacks. You have it rolled, right? Two so, uh, 18 uh, will hit you. One, yes. Unless you want to cast something. Are you alright? No. Oh, okay. So 18 will hit you for... 20? 7 points of bludgeoning damage. Yes, 7. Okay. Uh, and then this one over here is going to hit Gora twice. Okay. Uh, both times will hit Ooh, for Gora. So one and two. Oh, it doesn't have half life as well. We'll take nine points of damage. Gora, nine as he points. slams twice into Gora. All right. End of the Thug's turn. Kasaba. Uh, did this laughter twin? Yeah. On the yeah, yeah. ones near Mogra. Mm hmm uh, this will be what is it? Wisdom wisdom thirteen. Wisdom thirteen. Uh, move of course first. I'll move, this I'll move, laughter. I'll okay. Move here. Yeah, 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 sure. Twin, I, was, I, I swear you move from like one side of the room to the other, you know. I didn't even know where you were. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. So, uh all right, to this no to that guy. Yeah, okay. So it's, it's a safe. wisdom saving throw. I seriously doubt they are very good at that. Uh yeah. they fail. <laughs> which which one do you choose? Uh, both of them. Twin. Oh twin, god damn it! <laughs> Alright, uh Okay, one of them makes it, right? <laughs> okay, as the other one falls down prone on the ground. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's incapacitated right now. Hit the guy that's not laughing. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you just shut that out. Hit the guy that's not laughing. Right. Anything else, Kasaba? Uh, that was action. I'll continue. I'll, I'll, I'll mix around with okay. the crowd. I'll mix around with the crowd. You know? <laughs> just mingle. Yeah, stand mingle, in the yeah. yeah. What's the yeah. evening yeah. like? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mingle around with the crowd. Heather. Okay. So I'm going to bonus action and um, hex this guy. Yeah. Oh, right, and I'm okay. gonna use my new spell. Ooh. It's nothing. It's just sword burst. Where is it? Nothing. Why is it not here? Sword there it is. Dex save, right? Yeah. Sword burst. Hey, plus one. Did it cast? Oh, okay. He definitely fails as he tries to jump backwards. Yes. Uh, he oh, will that's take a five and five? Six, eleven. Oh, that hex damage though. Eleven points of uh damage. As your so like, like ethereal swords, like this purple colored like fashion light spins around you in this one fashion, one turn. And immediately you see it slice into his robes, into him, blood spurts out. He looks hurt, but not that hurt yet. Anything else? Ah, uh, he has not used his reaction, right? Uh no. He, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stay put. Because otherwise right, he's gonna right chase foot, me yeah. and hit me again anyway. Cool. No problem. End of the turn. Top of the round, you see everybody start running, panicking as doors are slammed open. People start running in this direction. Ah! It's your kill. As people just book the shit out of there. Uh, some of them run up the stairs. You see the, some of the wait staff like run back up the kitchens. Uh, Mulharan still stays there. Nobody's still, he's still drunk. <laughs> still, still, Mograd, where are you? <laughs> Even Mograd has left me. <laughs> oh, people are dying, dude. He <laughs> <laughs> say, I'm dying on your side. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, I'm gonna move all these guys. No, well. Queen, yeah. I went after uh, you. Um, so ah. do I get temporary hit points? Oh, yeah, Queen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Everyone gets them. Oh, no, wait. Oh, Mograf's. Wait, is it 30 feet? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so technically, he should get it. I don't know why he's not in the circle. Well, yeah, technically, the circle it. is kind of touching it. So, yeah, yeah, he gets it. He gets it. Yeah, he gets it. All right. Uh, other than that, uh, Shelder is running backwards. 
that these guys running out. These guys are going to book it, and they just completely disappear. All these guys will just out. What? What? And disappear. <laughs> you get well. Yeah, do not complain. Just run, they just book it straight for like the uh, the bridge, the wooden bridge. Some of them like uh, you're not sure whether they are mages or they have, they know magic. You can see them just like blink from the bridge and just appear on the other side uh, of the port. But other than that, uh, the guy that's hurt, uh, he's crawling around. No friend is going. Oh, are you right? Okay. Uh, these guys will be. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Uh, this guy's running. Yeah, this. Uh, you yeah. You see the bard run up behind the stage and like just hide behind the curtains. Uh, Dalen runs back into the kitchen. Uh, lady sees why. Uh, she she faints. Ah. And I think that's about it. That's about all the chaos. Like oh, okay, yeah. You're just going on the stairs as well. Neko, it is your turn. Oh, uh, by uh, the way, sorry. Uh, because this might make a difference, um, those, they get temporary hit points as well? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, especially the ones that are currently being garroted. Bloody, yeah, definitely. Uh, I took your previous one. You rolled a nine, I think. So I just used it for all of them in one turn rather than you rolling individually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they, they uh, we're running. Hit yeah, uh, we're running towards this woman. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just cut me all over the table. <laughs> ah, jump over the chairs. Whoa, Jackie Chan style. Head behind this guy. Yep. <laughs> uh, and what do you want to do? Right. Yep, I will stab him. Yep, go ahead. Regular stab. Regular, right? <laughs> yeah. She's she's <laughs> not fighting him. <laughs> <laughs> Ten will miss as you slice at this person. You you hit behind his robes and you think it's like gonna catch flesh. Underneath the robes, you see this chain shirt like as your weapon just cuts right over the armor. He looks around. Yeah. <laughs> I will flurry blow. Go ahead. Let me minus my flurry blow first. Mm -hmm. Wait wait wait. Minus my key. Sorry. Uh, all right, here we go. I'm on attack. What the? Oh, 26 will definitely hit. Uh, as you smack him right in the head with your first kick for eight points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, 14. 14? Tell me. 14 will miss as you swipe at him this uh, time. He just dodges underneath your kicks. Oh, okay. That's end my turn. End of your turn. Oh, wait. Does this grapple lose or not? No, no, no. Still holding on. All uh, right. Uh, okay, end of his turn. Merrick. Merrick. Uh, you get uh, temporary hit points. Yeah. Oh. All right. Merrick. Merrick. I think Merrick <laughs> is still impressed with his longbow. <laughs> oh, my first shot. <laughs> yeah, it's so Century. good. It's so good. Uh, he'll shoot at this guy with near, next to Queen. Yep, go ahead. Oh, another, another natural three. He's so good. Oh my god! <laughs> you can, you, you, can you, it for some reason. Like the Sushkata, man. It's like wow. <laughs> uh, uh, how much? Uh, Twelve points of damage. Uh, points you of shoot damage. one right, right <laughs> to his heart, uh, and it it looks like he's killing over. Oh, and he's holding on to the arrow. Uh, he's bloodied and very hurt. Yeah. He'll use his bonus action to move Gora here and attack the same guy. Oh god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Flanking bitch. <laughs> Flank train. Yeah, uh, so none on the crit net entry. No no I cannot <laughs> I'll do this. Another <laughs> net <laughs> I told you. I told you. <laughs> oh wow, I should play Merrick. I'm glad <laughs> we added him to the fight, but yeah. So what the damage is? So 1d8 plus 2 plus yeah, 2. Click, 1D8 I plus think it has the damage. You just click the spell effect. I'm not sure if it does. It's 1d8 plus 4. Yeah. Can you imagine that someone shot him from the... 
Eddie, mm-hmm. someone shoot him from be- from beside, and then someone someone just shot him on the ass from behind. Oh, no. Respectable. <laughs> Eight points of damage. Uh, you, you see him like try to fight and turn around, and then he looks at Goro. Uh, Goro just bounces on him and just rips his head right off his body. Uh, he falls down dead, very dead. Uh, <laughs> man, this, this whole thing is amazing. Yeah. You, you, you see Goro just like run over, to grab like just take the head and just like toss it towards you. We just rolls on the ground in front of you. <laughs> Downtime, Kasava's buying one. All right, oh. Oh, you get temperate points as well. Uh, and that finally uh, loaded you. for me. Oh, really? <laughs> it's not as loaded, right? <laughs> well, mine is still blur. Oh my god. <laughs> the oh. connections okay, no in Malaysia, you guys. Oh, I can't get, th- I can't and add. It's loaded. So I have to just note that I can't add. Yeah, it's right. just details. Anyway, yeah. uh, end of Merrick's turn? Yeah, end of Merrick's turn. <laughs> okay, no. Yeah. Uh, steady aim and shoot this guy. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna switch to a short bow. Um, yeah. Ooh, 219. Ooh, oh my god. Ooh, okay, nice. uh, 16 points of damage as you fire off your short bow. It hits this guy square in the back of the shoulder. <laughs> oh, who are? Uh, hurt. Okay. Like at the uh, end of your sense, no. Yes. Yeah, okay. because the game, I I was your movement, so. That's uh, cool. You're picking up yeah. sniper positions. It's cool, Queen. Yeah. Everyone's doing exactly what they need to do. God damn it, uh, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you always acting in such a secret? <laughs> Never mind, <laughs> Queen. Oh my God! And then this guy is multiple casting spiritual weapon as well. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> 13 just hit yeah 13 towards uh which one header the guy up there 13 will miss as the uh, weapon swipes at him he too dodges that i'm gonna uh, throw wait, a weapon wait, does... all right never yeah, mind that misses. uh and smack the character is he giving okay. advantage on him Old. Wisdom saving throw. No, no advantage. Ooh, 17 makes it. Doesn't take any damage, sorry. As your spell fizzles, doesn't seem to take hold. This man seems to be very keen on not being tailed. All right, end of your turn. Mogoroth. All right, bonus action. I'm going to Hunter's Mark, the, uh, the one that's laughing. <laughs> Wait, what is laughing? Oh, do... The one that's uh, not laughing? Or... The one not laughing or laughing? The one that is on the ground laughing. Oh, oh okay. I'm okay. going to Hunter's to mark him. Yeah, he's already... Yeah. Yeah, he's already... He's no, already he, he wants to die. He yes, wants to yeah. kill him. Yeah, he's prone. He's prone. He's prone. He needs to do it. And then do with it. advantage, I'm going to attack him with my sword. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. It's, it's in oh. cap, so he gets the crit if he, if he hits, right? Yeah. Wait, wait. Nice. In cap, that's stated. Yeah, is it unconscious? Incap means yeah. uh, no action, no reaction. Yeah, incapacitated means that means that he. Oh, no actions, no reactions. No, yeah, no, it's not like critical. Yeah, no. they they are still conscious enough to. Uh, try to not yeah. yeah, it's not unconscious. Different. Ooh, are you? Ooh, oh. uh, are you kidding uh, me? Double checking. <laughs> uh, double checking something. Okay, thirteen just hits. <laughs> oh, oh thank God. Thank God. Uh, as you oh, stab nice. into him, he's like rolling around and you nearly so, miss, but he just rolls so, into so, your stab basically. So he takes 13 because I'm not wielding a shield at the moment. Ooh, nice. And how do I do damage Wait. for Hunter's Mark? Uh, roll a d6. Yeah, I just make a button, a macro six. button. Well, the yeah, Hunter's Mark uh, is already up there. Oh, oh yeah, just get it. Yeah, button. Oh, 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 uh, okay, okay, okay. He takes 19 total. It's fine. It's fine. Wait, what is the six, two, and one? Not dead yet. One is dead missing, yet. one is missing, one is slashing. If you decide which one, like, let's say if he's doing slashing, I'll take the slashing, then it would have been one damage. Only. Why Why is there so many? Yeah, I think. Just in case. The NDB yeah. is a bit weird. The NDB is set like that. No, actually, yeah. beyond anyway, the 
You step into this guy and he is no longer in cap, right? Or does he make a save? Uh, uh, save. Advantage. He gets to make a save, I believe. Save with advantage. Uh, yeah. Okay. What's the save again? Okay. Charisma. Uh, wisdom, wisdom, uh, wisdom, wisdom 13. Wisdom 13. Wisdom with advantage. Here we go. Come on. Fail. 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 DC? 13. No. 13. He just makes it. Oh, uh, come on. And he is no longer laughing on the ground. He's now yelping in pain. Oh, on the ground. Not going capacitated, but he's still on the ground, yes. And Hunter's Mark. Okay, uh, anything else, Mogroff? Um, no, that's all I can do right now. All right, Mogroff takes another six temporary hit points. End of your turn. The Garrett's turn. This guy. Okay, this is what happens, uh, Neko, to you <laughs> first. You see this. Guy, uh, this uh, this person is quite tall. Drops. Uh, Lady Sala, turns around towards you. Uh, he holds something in his hand as you see, like a small black like orb, just oh, throws no. it down on the ground, and oh. smoke will appear. Ooh. Which reminds me, I need to pull out your yeah yeah. I'll pull out your 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 weapon as well. Find me. Is he gonna is he gonna run away? Uh, I think I'll use I'll use this. You are not sure because he is currently obscured by the cloud, and you can't see him. Uh, well, that's five foot. Yeah, basically around him. Yeah, it's centered on them, so it's sort of they can they're free to move about and they're hard to hit. And they can so still like that attack. Nine, that nine square that nine square rate area is obscured right now. Yeah, I guess. So technically like this? Yeah, three by three. So it's five foot radius, okay. so like that. All and right. Centered centered on them that last to the start. Centered of the centered on them. Please. If it if it has nothing. All right. Mm -hmm. Start with the next turn. Yeah. All right. It's going to be just. So you basically have disadvantage to attack him. Mm -hmm. Everyone next to Oh, but he has advantage on attacking you. Okay. If well, not, that, was his that was his action. So he. Yeah, that was his action. Uh, the other one. Hmm. Run. <laughs> now he's gonna drop his grapple. Yeah, he's gonna drop his grapple on this guy as well. And we'll also do the same thing. Okay. As free he action, I say. Well. Alright. Uh, as my free action, I say he tried to run away. Uh, then <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait a minute, that's on the garotter, yeah. right? Yeah. Not on the guy that he was trying to garot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that's it. That's all he's going. Hmm. Technically, they could move. I was going to stay right there. They could, move, but they would move out. They, they could move anywhere within yeah. the line and still remain obscured if you wanted no, to do it's that. It, it, it's centered on them, so they could actually still move and it would be on them until the start next turn. But yeah, this is okay. Uh, anyway, this one over here is going to use half his movement to get up. Oh! Uh, this one over here is going to run around you, Ross. Oh, no. And this one here, like that. That makes no big difference to you within five feet of you. Uh, they're just basically trying to surround you, and that's difficult terrain anyway. Uh, they will attack you twice again. This one will attack oh, probably. Let's see. Okay. Uh, four attacks on you. Uh, oh, Garoth, here we go. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, two of these attacks. Are going to be normal. Uh, I mean, with advantage first, so one and two. Yeah, just regular attacks. Uh, twenty will hit. 
other will miss for seven points of bludging damage. And the other guy, the one that you've like hunter smart Mogro, you you see his club start to light up, and this time fire appears at the end of it. <laughs> and he will try to hit you twice. <laughs> oh shit. <clears throat> uh the first time he misses as he swipes the air in front of you. You see the club actually burns his hand and his hand starts to take like flame. Like, ah! uh, he'll take two points of fire damage. And the second one, this time he swings it back around and that time it actually hits you for 23. You will take seven points of damage plus another three points of fire damage. Altogether, 10 points of damage. Mm, not so bad. What's your HP at now, Mogroth? Or with the temp HP? Should be fine. Um, yeah, it should be fine. The temp, temp HP helps a little bit, but... What's your HP right now? I can't get my thing to come up. Oh, never mind, I figured out. Okay, what's your current HP now? Yeah, oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, four. Okay, the other one is going to smack you, Heather, since you... All right there. No, Heather. Uh, Heather, one regular attack against you. Or oh, not bloody yet. Right? Hold on. Oh, technically he is. Okay, so this one, he's already bloody. What? Did you roll yeah, the attack for me? One. Yes, here you go. One and two. Oh, there. 16 and 16. Oh, Both nice. will miss. Thank, oh, God. Thank you, Queen. She's still Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> But this is what also happens. Uh, you see his club also lights up. Uh, since he missed you twice, the club actually does damage to him instead. And he takes wow. two points of fire damage. Oh, as his hands start to burn. Uh, that is the end of the turn. Yeah, but he, he took the six. Do I, have, do I have enough movement to get there? Can I get there? That is all difficult terrain. All oh, the stuff here, all difficult terrain. All difficult terrain. Mm. Yeah. Oh, shit, I haven't... I kind of want the club. Oh, no more so it'll, be, it'll be 15, right? Mm, hmm. I'm gonna get there. <laughs> oh, yeah, special. Just like Mogroth Special <laughs> weapon sword. Um, that's, not, that's why... That's why I'm thinking. So, yeah, I should do uh, it right now. Move. First. The spectral weapon doesn't rely on sight, so would it still be affected by the cloud? Uh, uh yes. It's uh, dependent on the cloud. I guess I'll put side, there. I it's dependent on the caster. Okay. I, want to, I want, really yeah. want to take out the other guy. You can't guy. get something the caster can't see you, so yeah. really want to take out the other guy, but. Hey, invisible. Uh, try, try. Here, yeah. I don't have anything. In there. disadvantage. Yep, spells, Cassava. Yeah, but I don't have anything that... Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it first. I'll do that first. I'll, I'll chill touch the one that's already nearly, nearly, nearly dead. Is that the most okay. I can do? Uh, yeah, roll attack first. Yeah. Oh, 16 will oh. hit for 6 points of damage as... You see this ethereal green color snake just fly right out of your hands, shoots right through his heart. And you see his entire body fall down. As you see his face just go black with tendrils as he bleeds out from his ears, his uh, nose, his eyes. He dead. I'll move here and I'll tap this guy's shoulder. Hi. Oh! <laughs> what do you want? Go away! <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> Killing you, friend. Oh. Okay, done. Uh, anything else? <laughs> if nothing else, Kusama, end of uh, your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Hmm. Heather. Heather. I'm you there? going to yeah. play my arms and cast start burst. Again. Ah! Yes, because you know, Eldritch Blast in close range is dumb dumb. Oh, 
Okay, ah. Dex save throw. Uh, he fails. Okay. And we'll take please, two please. points. Plus four. Oh, four points oh, of damage nice. altogether. <laughs> oh, as the sword flash again in the air. Uh, and yes, they cut into him. To Get away like, from him. You fire <laughs> 5,000 cuts. He's just waving his, like, look at this huge rod in front of you. Like, grr, grr. All right, anything else, Heather? Yeah. Mm, I'm okay. here and give Queen flanking. Okay, top the round. Uh, Lizette, Theron, and Lino will run to the kitchens and disappear. Sledge really does disappear. He actually rolled himself high enough to do that. Uh, other side in the sky. This guy is still on the ground. Done. Neko. Oh boy, this time. I hate this guy. Well, uh. Yeah, you can't see shit right now. Everything is heavily obscured inside there. Also, if I try to punch food. something, it will disadvantage, correct? Yes, in front of you. If I move, he still gets to attack me because he. Yeah, he can see you. Well, I guess there's no other chance. Uh, all right, let's go. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will call. No, wait, wait. Can I? I do this. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, here you go. I will call my astral arm. Yes, I cannot attack him. <laughs> okay, bonus action, astral arms. <laughs> they flash outwards. They will do damage to people within 10 feet, correct? Yep. I choose. I choose. Including the one in front of me. Yeah. Oh, you choose. That yeah. you can see. Oh, wait, really? You can't choose you can't choose targets that you can't see, right? Oh wait, wait, give me a second, give me a second. Let me read it. Let me read it. Fireball, fireball the room. Just to let you know, Lady Salah might take that damage. No, 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 wait, 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 let me think, let me think first. Oh, that, I, that, but that, that I can see, that's true, that's true. Well, yeah, never yeah. mind. I will not use the astral arm, but okay, okay, cool. Uh, I just try to set the cloud, lah. In other words, <laughs> hopefully, ah, okay, to hit it. the cloud. Disadvantage. Go ahead. Excuse me. Uh, here we go. As I set him, I say, "Fight me like a man, you coward." Uh, but you are not even a man. <laughs> oh, Ted will miss as he swipe at the air. You literally hit air. There's nothing there. Oh, that's a nine will miss as well as you kick the air literally again in front of you. This seems to have vanished in front of the smoke. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Well, uh, that's it. And my turn. End of your turn. Uh, Merrick. Merrick, Sarah. Sarah. Ma oh, Mer uh, Merrick. Uh, does Merrick have enough movement to get? Is it difficult to read? Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'll give it to you. Yeah, this is the stage. It's getting on the stage. It's like yeah. two, two feet off the platform. Yeah, it's fine. So, in, so he will shillelagh. Does this give you regular? Yes. <laughs> he will sh he will shillelagh, and he will. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Do it. And he will do. It. If it's a net, thing, yeah, no, you. no, just nineteen, just nineteen. <laughs> Oh, that's so close. <laughs> <laughs> that's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> and he yes, will, and he will favorite for favorite for it. All right. So seven points of damage. Seven plus three. Plus three. Ten points of damage as he slaps <laughs> his shilly <laughs> right through the cloud. Oh, he actually bonks someone in the head. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'll, okay. Anything else? Uh, that's it. Bonus action? Bonus action. Oh, yeah. Bonus action. Mm, okay. No. Okay. Uh, steady aim and shoot in the crowd. Mm-hmm. Regular. 
Go ahead, regular shot. So Goro will dodge. As you pull your bow, shoot out. Uh, 14. 14 will miss, however. So it just goes right through the crowd, embeds itself right into the wall. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's, that's all I really do, yeah. All right. End of your turn. Queen. Queen, we need your help. Please do something. Man. And I thought healing word. No, not healing word. Was it? Uh, was it? It's tree. Oh, healing spirit, yeah. I thought healing spirit was Imba last time. I feel like them. This this twilight thing feels more Imba. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything that is Wait, not Wait, 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 no, remember that. Uh, remember that game that uh, we fought down uh, uh, with Valerie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was tired of Twilight Sanctuary <laughs> while we were fighting the gelatinous cubes. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Seven will miss. Are you casting fairy fire? Yeah. Nice. The the thing he has um on concentration is the shield. So the shield is gone. So the shield will drop. Okay. So you go back down to fifteen. That's fine. But uh, fairy fire, it will hit the... everyone. Yes. Everyone in a twenty a uh, twenty foot cube. Yes. Right. So if that's the center, so uh, it should be. Oh, that's all of them. Okay, everyone give me a deck save. <laughs> uh, me? Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, all right. Lady Sala. I, I save it. Wait, let me double check something. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Don't fail me. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't fail me. <laughs> fail. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, This one. <laughs> the could also fail. Oh my god, wow! It'd be funny if everyone lights up and... Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Neko, Lady Salas lights up. What color, Queen? <laughs> or do you just drop it? Do you just drop uh, it? Why, why, why? Because why? You, can, you can instantly cast it and instantly drop concentration. Yeah, you just drop concentration. <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, can you, can you move the spiritual weapon? Yeah, can you move that, that, that sword thingy? Technically, why that tree? Why, why the enemy? Why? <laughs> and you have it in sorts and spells too. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't move. Yeah, I know why. I know why. I know why. I know why. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Let me delete this. Yeah, but yes. Uh, end of your turn, Queen. Stay right there. <laughs> I'm sorry for Queen. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'll fix this for you. It's done. Done. Okay, moving on. Move it up. Move it All right. So I'm going to bonus action move the hunter's mark over to the guy between me and Kasava. All right. And then I'm going to attack him with advantage. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> My vendor. Oh, 22 will hit 15 stretching plus. Plus the hunter's mark, which is d6. You know, one d6. You just okay. click hunter's mark, and you might just you it, you click cast it for one. So oh, sixteen, oh, and oh, then I'm going to one. go ahead and pump a smite. Oh, oh my god! At the smite as well, he's bloodied as so, you see your sword flash, your eyes start to glow as well, as your smite is coming in for. Oh, 12 points of damage Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. into the man. You see his wounds flash <laughs> and he's near death, but not dead yet. Anything else, Mogor? Oh, come on. And then I say, I'm ready to meet my god, are you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I like this poem. By the oath of vengeance. <laughs> he just looks at you. He, he just, okay, you know what? Make me an intimidation check. <laughs> Straight no, into <laughs> And he looks at you, you stare at him. And you still beat us for days when you die too. And yeah, it's it's uh, you just like <laughs> swearing gods at each other right now. Uh end of <laughs> your turn, Bogro. Uh Ash Mudai Garata. So these things disappear. Bring it on. Oh, he's done. Uh, uh, I, can I will see need now. to recharge first. One and two. 
Ah, he touched what? No. Oh, come on. Uh, did I get any more hit points? Oh, yeah. Yeah, ten hit points. Ooh, that's pretty good. All okay. right. I, might need I that. think he's yeah, gonna focus on no, you. So no one attack, one attack on you and you. Yeah, on Me? you, Neko. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Oh no! Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Thinking, thinking, thinking. What happened? My screen also loading. Yeah. Huh? Hey, do you same thing? Yep. Happened to you same? No, no, what? no. Oh no, no, nothing. No, no, it's good. It's good. Uh. Just... All right. All right, I'm back. What happened? Nah, nah, he's uh. Hey, hey, what's up? Wait, wait, wait! I gotta think. I gotta think. My tactics changed a bit already. Hold on. <laughs> That's why I won. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Tactics change. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I wish I can deflect oh. fireball, you know. <laughs> I think you can flavor counter count spell like that. Screw it. Okay, screw it. Uh, this guy over here, even though you hit him, Neko, and he turns out from the cloud, he turns his attention away again from you, as he just garrets Lady Sala again. Wow. Garrett or Grapple? Grapple. The same thing. Both. Hey, you're coming with me! And she's... Ah! Uh, and he's going to move away. So... Five. Neko, okay. you can take an opportunity of attack. Alright. Go, cool, baby. Um, also, yeah, that doesn't... They still have 10 hit points, right? So... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. She's grappled again. Okay, that will miss as you swipe at the air in front of him. He's already moved away. Uh, he's gonna move five, so that's ten. Uh, this way. In, you see him start to move right out the doorway, holding on to Lady Sala. Don't let him get away. Well, you're the only one fast enough. Right. Oh, wait, is he passing through header or what? Or not? No, they don't have me. No, 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 doesn't no. have melee. Anyway, but yeah, he's not. No, he's not passing. <laughs> I have my smacking well, actually, hand. <laughs> was zero <laughs> damage? Uh, we did that wrong with the with the cover. They don't have it. They don't have it. It's not disadvantage to attacks. They just get plus five to AC and Dex when they're when they're three quarters cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, half cover is just half plus two. It's plus two. Uh, shit. Okay, this guy is just going to Garrett you, Merrick. Lah. Here we go. Oh, no. Merrick. Garrett Merrick. Oh, yeah. God damn. Yeah, he swipes at Merrick. Merrick is not just <laughs> on the stage. Garrett Merrick. Uh, dancing the dance of life. All right. Uh, Tugs turn. Tugs are in a bad spot as well. Uh, Tugs just going to smack at you, Mogroff. He doesn't really care. Uh, so here we go. One smack. Ah, uh, he missed. Oh, shit. I think he's going to kill himself. It's <laughs> <laughs> one point of fire damage. Also acceptable. He's going, to yeah. Yeah. Ah, he's going to smack you one more time. So, oh my god, yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> <laughs> so, 13 misses as well as he just swipes the air in front of you and you see his hands start to burn. His entire body starts to come a flame. <laughs> oh, as his body is set of like flame basically <laughs> he just starts rushing out the door actually, actually can, I, can, I grab, can i grab can i grab the club can i grab the club as he runs out uh it's dropped on the ground he's dropped the club on the okay. ground he's basically like on fire running outside he's fallen down and you can see his body just like ch charred as the rain patters on his on the flames and it completely die out he's oh. burnt and dead uh this guy over here is going to keep attacking Heather. Here we go. One attack. How dare self immolation. <laughs> oh, Why God, he... no, he kill himself. I don't see 
Okay, oh, okay. Like, so two for miss. So he will oh, do. Oh yeah. He will do two points of fire damage to himself. Yeah! No, I don't. Uh, see but it. the second one, the second one will hit. Slow, slow, I will slow. tell you. Don't worry. Yeah, it's probably loading. For oh, four points of damage plus with the club being on fire. So seven altogether. You take eleven points of damage. Heather, make me a con save. Um, con. Give me a second. Yeah, for your hex. There we go. So ten damage gone. Two damage carry over. Mm -hmm. Did I did did it did it come up? What do you roll? The con. No. no? Okay. You, oh no! no, no I see now. Oh, no, everything, oh, hex no, is everything's coming. <laughs> yeah, everything's coming. But yeah, uh, hex what? drops. Both of them is five. Yeah, I know. Uh, hex drops. Uh, other than that, that is the end of this guy's turn. Gustava. Um, Help her. Help her. Can I move? Gonna, I, made, uh, I made my con save do... before the attack. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to end the session uh, after Heather's turn. Oh. So I don't think it's going to end so quickly. It's probably going to take at least one, two more turns. So that way, Merrick has a chance to get some XP. Yes, well, uh. yes. Mm -hmm. So I will mm -hmm. just... Can I move and dash like that? Yeah. Basically, that will be, that will be my turn. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Uh, that is your turn. And the but you you don't push like this. Hello, like, not yet, die la. Like like that, like that, like that over the chair. Yeah, that's not uh, can, 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 can. Yeah, can. Since since it has worked, just like Merrick, I'm gonna keep doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, already. Every time, just like sword flash, sword flash, sword yeah. flash. Wait, before that, I hacked him again. Because I still have one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. yeah. Use your... Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I mean, I would too. I mean, if you're going to take a short rest, it's fine. Uh, yes, you, you hex him as well. So roll yeah. me damage. This hits. It definitely hits. Yep. This guy's aren't very dexterous. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Five I, points I, of damage. Okay. Hey, Heather, guess what? You see the sword spin and they just slice into his stomach. Oh, as they go straight into his head. And he just falls over as he sees many lines start to appear over his face. Yeah, third time's the charm. <laughs> you see a man just fall in front of you in pieces, Queen. <laughs> oh, oh, I got, I got it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, and with that, yeah, so with uh, anything else, just... you can still move. Anything. Yeah, I'm going to move. Are we trying to leave from here? Well we're, well, we're trying to rescue her from the guy that's dragging her out. Okay. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't... I'm sorry I didn't take whole person. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, okay. I, will, I will run. I can't run past them, right? Yeah, we'll... Nah, you can't. Uh, you, just, you see, you open the door, you see it's a tight alleyway that hits up north, around the building. Mm. Yeah, I don't mm. have action anymore. The way. Oh, shit. I'm going to hex that guy. No, wait, that's not my no, other action. Yeah. Damn it. You already hexed the other guy. Yeah. Do, do, yeah, you're done. Yeah, we, we see him. We see him. Isn't it a bonus action, the hex? Yeah, yeah so it's in the next. Yeah. The next. Um, Because I bonus action to cast it. Okay. I'll tell you what, guys. It's getting really late here. All right. Uh, let's gonna, we're going to end the session here tonight with mm. the end of Everson. As okay. you guys chase after these, uh, these cultists, uh, these ones a uh, little bit more prepared and armed for whatever they wish to do, they seem to be dragging off uh, patrons of Moonstone Mask. Uh, you'll see whether you can stop them next session. Thank you all for joining in. I hope you enjoyed okay. the game. I'll okay. see you all next week. Bye -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye bye! See you guys! Thanks for being. Regret not.